Hey guys, I don't know if you're like me, but I love Count the Dings and everything it has to offer. I just can't find everything I need. You know, I know about Cinephobe and I know about the mailbag and I know about Bomb, but that's all we do, right, I mean? No, we do so much more. What? Yeah, absolutely. If you sign up, patreon.com slash count the dings, you'll find a plethora of other content, fresh content, extended content, the OG pod overflow, the Cinephobe cold opens that we've taken and made their own thing to live only there. The Rewatchingtons bomb in its full Ooh. and unadulterated cut early drops of Cinephobe episodes and so much more. Said the OG pod, now is it new or is it old? Mace, I'm glad you asked that. It is a new incarnation mm -hmm. of the old OG pod. Oh. So it's me, Zach, Trey, Waz, Tom. I love those guys. Just like we always were going back to the true hoop days, mm -hmm. we're recreating that magic, recapturing it and putting it back out. We're talking hoops, we're talking pop culture, and most importantly, we're talking for 40 minutes for free, mm -hmm. but then another specific Patreon exclusive segment for every one of those episodes. Funny enough about that OG pod, you're getting Tom and Trey on Mondays, you're getting me and Waz, aka Zosny, on Wednesdays. Amin's floating in between. I'm a floater. You never know when you're going to get Amin in those, so you got to listen to them all. And what if I'm not sure what Maze looks like? Because I've always thought he's a fat man with a fedora, he's got a weird voice. How can I see for myself what this Maze character actually looks like? It's crazy you don't know the answer to this mm. because it's the Cinephobe Pod YouTube page. What? The CT5s on the Cinephobe Pod YouTube page. You can look at all of us. You can get all the OG pods on YouTube too at Count the Dings One on YouTube, at Cinephobe Pod on YouTube, patreon.com slash count the dings gets you everything all in one feed. You can link it to your Spotify. And now enjoy the show. Nerds. Listener, when it comes to horrible movies, you know that I've got you covered on Cinephobe. We've been doing it for over 250 Cinephobe years. But who do you turn to when you need smart financial decisions? If your answer is our sponsor, Nerd Wallet, then you're absolutely right. And if it's not, let me change your mind. The nerds at Nerd Wallet have spent thousands of hours researching and reviewing over 1,300 financial products, and they have the tools you need to make smarter decisions. Looking for a credit card? Go beyond the basic comparisons, filter for the features that matter to you, and read in-depth reviews. Ready to choose a high-yield savings account? Get access to exclusive deals and compare rates, bonuses, and more. House hunting? View today's top mortgage rates for your home sweet home. Make the nerds your go-to resource for smart financial decisions. Head to nerdwallet.com forward slash learn more. NerdWallet. Finance smarter. Disclaimer. NerdWallet Compare Inc. NMLS 1617539. Okay, you can do this. I know, I know. Carvana makes it so convenient to sell your car. It's just hard to let go. My car and I have been through so much together. But look, you already have a great offer from Carvana. That was fast. Well, I know my license plate and VIN by heart, and those questions were easy. You're almost there. Now to just accept the offer and schedule a pickup or drop-off. How'd you do it? How are you so strong in letting go of your car? Well, I already made up my mind, and Carvana's so easy. Uh, yeah. True. And sold. Go to Carvana.com to sell your car the convenient way. Excuse me, can you take a photo of me? Sure, but you know, if you had the new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6, you could snap your own hands-free selfies. Really? Watch. I just flex it to the perfect angle, set it down, and FlexCam with Galaxy AI automatically zooms for the perfect shot. Whoa. Post-worthy. New profile pic-worthy. Flex the newest Galaxy AI foldable, Z Flip 6. Get yours now at Samsung.com. Samsung account login required. FlexCam length varies and is shorter than standard zoom length. Galaxy AI provided free until end of 2025 on supported devices. This episode is brought to you by Skinny Pop Popcorn. Perfectly popped, endlessly delicious. Oh, so light and crunchy. Skinny Pop Original Popcorn is the snack you've been searching for. Made with just three simple ingredients, popcorn kernels, sunflower oil, and salt. Snacking never felt or tasted so good. Perfectly popped, endlessly delicious. Give yourself permission to snack and pick up Skinny Pop Original Popcorn today. This podcast contains mature content, explicit language, suggestive situations, and partial to full frontal nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Don't let your kids listen to this. Oh, fuck. I got a daisy tip. 
I forgot about that shit. It's a loose concept, as Mace proved here. As I proved. There is more prison in Lionheart no. than there's Vietnam vets in this movie. No, there isn't. That's the Korean War for all we know. Racist. Oh, not racist. We don't know what wars <laughs> they're in. Oh, shit. It's like you stepped it in on that one. Not at all. We don't know what wars they're in. You fucked up. You took a wrong step. You took a wrong turn. Not at all. No, I'm not going to let you guys do this bullshit. The first one, I was like, okay, they're in the revolution. No, it's civil war. Oh, probably World War II. Oh, no, it's World War One. Oh, there's World War Two. Oh, what the fuck's this one? You thought the Revolutionary War happened after 1845, you dumb fuck? Mr. I love a Chiron? I didn't look at the fucking thing at first. I had to rewind. I didn't look at the first thing in the movie? Yeah, it starts. The first thing in the movie. You didn't look at it. I got the dumbass, that thing you guys love to jack off to, that little Marvel comic book thing. I was like, okay, I got time until anything that matters happens. And so I look down and then I look up and I'm like, what the fuck's going on? And so then I rewound it to see it. I could not imagine spending three hours on something that I didn't like after <laughs> 10 minutes. You don't like it. You are a weird individual to keep watching. What are you, nuts? <laughs> you dedicated a week of your life to dislike something? Get a hobby, knit something, go for a walk. <laughs> Previously on Cinephobe. How am I supposed to go back to the me before all of this pain? Excuse me, we're new in town and we've never had sex before. Would you give us a hand? I would have rather seen his cock. Out away, Bobby! This episode in this movie exists. You bet your sweet ass I saw a lawnmower man. Oh, Teddy. I'll call some guys from my neck of the woods. We're not talking, Brooke, about a couple of queens who know a few grapples. We're talking about Polacks that don't have a goddamn future. You have a stupid heart and a stupid brain. Regular Einstein. You think I'm a coward? You're wrong. I'm not a coward. You're the coward. I'm not a coward. I love cocaine. I do it all the time. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't mean like homosexual. I mean like... I got nukes shooting out of my dick right now. I've got so many nukes. Dick nuke them. I mean, look at this buffet of ass. Mouth to dildo, dildo to ass, ass to ass. Hi, Branch. Anal bees. I'm the goddamn talent, Maze. Look, Gene, I've never told anyone this before. My head! But I can suck my own dick. And I do it a lot. 1038. This movie is shit. You don't know shit. Holy shit, shit, bro. I had the same note, too. I swear to God, both of you guys are the biggest fucking liars in the world. Howdy, howdy, howdy. You should have saved this for the train. All right, au revoir, Lubin. Lisa, solid. Oh, I mean, why don't you just be like a regular person and dream about regular threesomes? Like clones. Give me some soul, kids, oh. baby. Hey, beautiful. What? Oh, dang. Oh, oh, oh. I can't indulge this comparison to a person that I mean may or may not know in a movie that has nothing to do with this podcast. That's some 20th century shit, bitch. We will tangle ass. Say hi to your mother for me. And you will lose. What's the end game? Okay, now everyone's dead. What is fucking Spence from Ballers? Who cares what the end game is? Garbage! I am Rath. McCavity! <laughs> Welcome to Cinephobe, the podcast. We break down the movies you're afraid to admit you love. I'm Zach Carper. That's Mino Hassan. That's Anthony Mays. If you don't listen to us on Spotify, I'm going to take your mutant powers out of you and use them against you. Ooh-hoo-hoo. I'm going to suck them out. Spotify is where you can vote in the poll, like the poll for law-abiding citizen, 80.9% file, 19.1% phobe. I wonder if that is because we all filed it. I wonder how much that influences the polls. I've been thinking about that. I'm going to admit, Zach, I've got a lot of feedback from listeners saying they could not believe that it qualified. (laughs) The moment it was announced, hey, next week, law-abiding citizen, there were a lot of people, including Bob for marketing for us, who's like, Mm -hmm. clearly that can't qualify. And I'm like, yeah, it kind of does. People love that movie. Yeah, I mean, I loved it too, but it still doesn't... More than I imagined that people would love it. Okay. Spotify is also where you can leave a comment, like Admiral Smackbar, who said, that's what wrenches are for, dumbass. 
And Olivia Cockburn, who said, I fully thought Zach was going to pick Escape Plan 2, Hades. We might have a Taken scenario with the Escape Plan franchise where we can't do the first one. No, we can't. But the rest of them. But the first one was, oh my God. Was that on your list? I can't remember. Did that make your CT5? Yep, it was number one. Like America's whore. <laughs> we want your reviews. Leave reviews, leave comments. Make sure you're checking out CT5 on the feed. Give your CT5 suggestion. Give your CT5 list. Make sure you sign up for the Patreon, patreon.com slash count the dings. You get access to all of our Discord channels, all of the rewatchington events, the cold opens, not just cinephobe shit. It's everything across the Count the Dings network, and you get that entire cold open. Every single one. You'll get every piece of the Hawaii trip eventually. Well, by now they've gotten it, right? By now they have, yes. If you have a submission, submit it. Reminder needs to be 40% or lower on the Rotten Tomatoes audience or critic score. Okay. Recently, Amin had us get naked so we could vengefully be arrested with law-abiding citizens. Then we start our new and improved daisy chain. Chain, chain, chain. Chain, chain, chain. I use prison to keep us cheeked up with the French Foreign Legion and Lionheart. Did you? Maze used Scotsman to link us to op our way through surviving 24 hours with the pest. Amin used $50,000 to link us to letting the prisoners know that that was ridiculous and way out of line with dirty work. And then I had us snort revenge to get coked up enough to repel down Devil's Cauldron to find the bonsai plutonium tree that is Karate Kid 3. The plutonium is in the bonsai tree? Now Maze is using Vietnam vets to bring us to the 2009 action sci-fi X-Men Origins Wolverine. Back to this shit. Superhero. Yeah, they are superheroes, right? They sure are. Is every comic book character a superhero? No. no. Deadpool isn't. Deadpool's not a superhero? Did you watch the movie? Like, that the whole point is. He is a superhero. He's got superpowers, and he becomes a hero. He got superpowers. I don't know if he's a hero, though. But he's not a villain. He's just a super? Super. Yeah. It's a super movie. Okay. It is a super movie. It's great. It's one of the few comic book movies I love. I legitimately love Deadpool. Deadpool 2 is fine. Because it shits on comic book movies. <laughs> it, it does. It, it absolutely does. Zach's like, I like this movie. <laughs> Something about this. I like the cut of its jib. X-Men Origins Wolverine stars Hugh Jackman, Liev Schreiber, and Ryan Reynolds. He was now a three-time repeat offender with Movie 43 and Swordfish. I wish I knew how to quit you. He had Deception and Australia in 2008, this movie in 2009, and then Butter and Real Steel in 2011. So he was in X-Men, X2, X-Men The Last Stand, this movie, The Wolverine, Logan, X-Men First Class, Days of Future Past, X-Men Apocalypse. Good Lord, man. And Deadpool and Wolverine. Cash and checks. He's been in every X-Men movie. He's not in Dark Phoenix. Oh, yeah. What's Dark Phoenix? It's the one after Apocalypse. I don't know if I saw Apocalypse either. And he got paid $25 million for this movie in 2009. God damn. That is inflation. Do you see how dripped he is, man? That $25 million is... I don't know. He didn't look that big to me until the end. Early on in the movie, I was like, oh, he's kind of scrawny. When he jumps out the water and the shit is... The water thing. The gutters? Well, yeah, he's got the gutters. <laughs> and then later on, when he's at the nuclear reactor... He looks big. But other than that, I was like, he looks kind of small to me. Maybe think it was CGI. Do you think he looks as big or bigger now in Deadpool and Wolverine? He looks bigger now. Well, it's heavier. So that's probably what it is. Is For sure. His regimen has only gotten better in 15 years. Yeah. He got healthy. He got chicken is what he fucking got. <laughs> chicken full of hormones that are human growth. That's what that is. You got a lot of chicken. <laughs> we have Lee Schreiber is also a repeat offender for movie 43. Oh, I wish I knew how to quit you. A little movie 43 reunion. Yeah, it is. <laughs> It defines in 2008, this movie and taking Woodstock in 2009 and then everyday repo man and salt in 2010. He's awesome in goon. And of course the eponymous Ray Donovan. Never seen it. Never seen it either. Me neither. No. There we go. They know too. Here we go. Sweep, Sweep it, it, boys. <laughs> Sweep it with a blink. Ryan Reynolds, nine-time repeat offender. Unreal. How? 
Well, I'm about to tell you. He's in so many movies. Six Underground, R.I.P.D., Million Ways to Die in the West, Red Notice, Waiting, Smoking Aces, Blade Trinity, and Green Lantern. I wish I knew how to quit you. He had Definitely Maybe in 2008, this movie, Proposal, and Adventureland in 2009, and then Green Lantern in 2011. He's probably got, what, another five to ten more eligible? Oh, easy, yeah. Way more. Like Van Wilder. He'll get to ten times. Obviously, he's at nine, yeah. but he'll be in the 10 Timers Club. Danny Houston from Leaving Las Vegas, which Nick Cage won the Best Actor Award. Game Night and Marlowe. Will I Am from Be Cool. Date Night, Rio. And he's a repeat offender from <laughs> Clip It Maze. Danny Houston, brother of Angelica Houston, son of John Houston. Mm. All the Houstons. Lynn Collins from The Lake House. And John Carter. Well, I wrote Kevin Durant. Kevin Durand, repeat offender from Legion, Primal, and Smoking Aces. I wish I knew how to quit you. KD. Dominic Monahan from Lord of the Rings bullshit. Lost. Rise of Skywalker. Taylor Kitsch, repeat offender for Battleship. I wish I knew how to quit you. He is a permanent. He's one of the founding members of... You remind me of a very young Jim Carrey. Oh, what are you talking about? Righty then. What the hell are you talking about? So you're telling me there's a chance. Who are you talking to? Somebody stop me. Don't do that. He's in two bangers. Or I guess one banger. One of the all time they tried to make it happen actors that didn't happen. He's all right. He's good in Battleship. He's fine, but they tried to make him the next superstar. I feel like they tried to make him the next Emil Hirsch. Who's Emil Hirsch? You would know him if you saw him. I think they aimed a little higher than that, but... Oh, okay. <laughs> Emil Hirsch is successful. Emil Hirsch is more successful than Taylor Kitsch. Of course, yeah. Also, Maze, run the music again for Emil Hirsch. <laughs> no, don't you do that. No. Get out of here. I think he's nominated for an award, wasn't he? An award? You don't even know which one. <laughs> he was either best actor or best supporting. He was nominated, though. Are you kidding me? I'm like a dog on a bone. Dog on a bone with this one. <laughs> like a dog on a bone. But yeah, it was Friday Night Lights, John Carter, Savages, Lone Survivor, and then True Detective 2 for Taylor Kitsch. I'm looking at Emil Hirsch right now. Oh, the guy from The Girl Next Door. Got it. Never mind. Chris Sadrina from Hitler Lives. Mm -hmm. Peter Barry, repeat offender from Ghost Rider. Eric Brecker, repeat offender from Scary Movie 3 and Ballistic X vs. Sever and Jingle All the Way 2. Adrian G. Griffiths, repeat offender from Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Future Sport. And coaching the Bucks. Byron Chief Moon, repeat offender from Scary Movie 3. Mike Dupud. Dupud? <laughs> D-O-P-U-D. I don't know how the hell you say that. Repeat offender from Ballistic X vs. Sever and Future Sport. Chaz Smith, repeat offender from Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Terry Lee Smith, repeat offender from Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter and Green Lantern. And then Patrick Stewart, repeat offender from A Million Ways to Die in the West. I wish I knew how to quit you. Troy Savon, a musician who is also in The Idol, plays young Logan, James, as he's known. And then Scott Adkins, Zach, who is Killa in John Wick 4, the guy in the fat suit. Oh, okay. He was great in John Wick 4. He played Weapon 11 for the more complicated and dangerous stunts. They just used Ryan Reynolds for the close-ups and the standing shots. And he is in... Universal Soldier Day of Reckoning, Brothers Grimsby, Expendables 2, and The Bourne Ultimatum. I have a name for Weapon 11 that I'm excited about because it pertains to a meme. Oh, you didn't call him Kyrie Irving? I started doing a little bit of a bit with it, and then I ran out of steam for it. I'll tell you what the bit I ran out of steam for was trying to write every single bit of Lee Schreiber's dialogue as a voiceover from Hard Knock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is hard. <laughs> <laughs> X-Men Origins Wolverine was directed by Gavin Hood. Gavin directed A Reasonable Man and Ender's Game. Ender's Game. Let me tell you. So when Andrew Wiggins came into the league, a certain sect of basketball nerds and not the fun kind of basketball nerds, the kind that you would hate, tried to make Andrew Wiggins nickname Ender's Game because I guess the character in Ender's Game is named Andrew Wiggin or Andrew Wiggins. I don't know which. And I was like, absolutely not. I love when they try to give a nickname to a player referencing to something the player has absolutely zero knowledge or interest in. Yes, right. Anyone who had a friend growing up did not care about Ender's Game. You know what group that is. If only he'd been a closer. X-Men Origins Wolverine has two writing credits. David Benioff, 
Screenplay, 25th Hour, Troy, he created Game of Thrones and Three-Body Problem, and repeat offender, get them clones going, Gemini Man. I wish I knew how to quit you. And it's a predator dap with the other writer of this movie, which is... Skip Woods. Screenplay credit, (laughs) wrote Hitman, The A-Team, Good Day to Die Hard, Sabotage, or I'm sorry, Sabotage. Sabotage. And repeat offender... For Swordfish. I wish I knew how to quit you. Holy shit. Skip Woods. When Swordfish and Gemini Man come together. Uh Uh-huh. I thought Skip Woods had more. No. That's his only repeat offender? Yeah. Wow. It was just such a legendary Maxim Magazine-esque screenplay. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I guess. Synopsis for X-Men Origins. Wolverine. The early years of James Logan, featuring his rivalry with his brother Victor Creed, his service in the Special Forces team Weapon X, and his experimentation into the metal-lined mutant Wolverine. That's pretty much the synopsis of the movie. That's too much. His experimentation? Well, they experimented on him. He was experimented upon, yeah. And they make it seem like he was like smoking weed in the dorm. Like, right. I guess what <laughs> won't hurt. See, like, do I like guys? I don't know. It <laughs> Tagline, witness the origin. <sighs> Yeah, okay. No, it's terrible. That's a terrible tagline. No, but it's because, like, this is the X-Men movie we're dominating. I thought we were going to get a lot of X-Men origin movies. Well, yes, that was the funniest thing about reading this title again with the benefit of 15 years of hindsight is... Yeah. They're starting a series they never even attempted a second one of. They gave up. They scrapped it. Did they do first class after this? They did first class is what they did. Okay, so then they were just like, all right, let's do that instead. X-Men Origins, first class. <laughs> they reboot it. <laughs> Fuck it. We got to just reboot this whole thing. There's a lot of talk of putting Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen in de-aging shit and doing them as young Magneto and Professor X. Oh, like the Irishman? I'm glad they didn't. Oh, I wish they had. They just recast them instead. The people they recast them with were amazing. James McAvoy and Fassbender? They did a great job. Yeah, they were really good. I love me some McAvoy, so I'm here for that. Scottish. $150 million estimated budget grossed $179.8 million US, $373 million worldwide. That is a hit. Even if you double the budget for marketing, it's still a hit. I think this is an example, though, of marketing making this not a hit. They needed this to make $600, $800 million. Probably, yeah. In 2009? 370 is a lot. It's the Spider-Man era. What was that? Spider-Man 2? Yeah. Spider-Man 2 made 800 million. Yeah. That's what they were hoping for. 600 would have done it. Spider-Man 3, which sucked in 2007, made 900 million. Was Tobey Maguire a bigger star than Hugh Jackman at that point? No, because Hugh Jackman had been in like all the X-Men movies. You say X-Men movies? X-Men movies. (laughs) No, no, no. I mean, no, no, just don't. Okay. I can guess what you're about to say. No, thank you. Not interested. We're not doing it. All right. Before we jump into this movie, you listen to the rest of this podcast. X-Men Origins Wolverine is on Max, Disney Plus. It's fucking everywhere, man. It's Hulu, all that shit. People have been complaining, by the way, because we do these movies and- Timeline's been fucked. Timeline's fucked up and they're off the streaming by the time they get to it. But I will say this. This is one that's not going anywhere. Disney Plus firmly has all the Marvel content. X-Men Origins Wolverine receives 38% on 261 reviews from the critics on Rotten Tomatoes, 58% from the audience on over 250,000 ratings. I mean, do you like the positive or the negative reviews? I'm an adamantium tank, half full kind of guy. Zach, give me the positives. Hey, John, that's weird. That glass looks half full to me. Wow. Now that you mention it, it is half full. Allie Gray of the shiznit.co.uk. Straight off the bat, this movie features more shots of muscle-bound men looking up at the camera and yelling, Rawr! than any other that I can remember. It's the shoutiest film of the year. Probably a horseman. Shouting? Shouting at the sky. Roaring? Yes, absolutely. Roaring? Roaring. Absolutely, (laughs) yes. Roger Moore of Tribune News Services. Adequate. (laughs) <laughs> Laramie Legal of film.com glowing endorsement there you won't be upset you saw it you'll have some fun you'll see Wolvie beat the living hell out of a helicopter <laughs> spoiler alert yeah Jeffrey Chen of window to the movies it's funny how much I'll forgive just to watch Jackman play this raging mutant again 10 more times till he's 90 I can't get enough of it I actually really like 
this character and X Men movies. I'm here for it. Bob Grimm of Reno News and Review. I had a good time with this. Jackman makes it worthwhile. Not as good as the first two X Men films, but better than the third. Sorry, haters. Yeah, suck it, X3 lovers. David Polin of Movie City News. How's he pulling? It's a B movie with a thousand effect shots, pure and simple. Put it under B movies. And then Brian Orndorff of BrianOrndorff.com. Of course. It's also plastic and forgettable, but for the 100 claw popping minutes immersed deep in Wolverine country, the film remains palatable. Heck, if the actors didn't bother to speak at all, I'm convinced there's a masterpiece to be found in here somewhere. He jacked it. He wants to watch it on mute. What is this, Blart? X-Men Origins, Paul Blart, Molkov. Oh my God, throw him into the X-Men. I would watch the fuck out of that. You didn't see him? Are you kidding me? Kevin Durant played Paul Blart in this movie. <laughs> Negative reviews. Stop being a pessimist. This tank is not half full. It's half empty. Bill Goodykunz of Arizona Republic. While packed with effects and action without the attention to story and emotional investment present in such films as The Dark Knight and Iron Man, Wolverine ultimately doesn't rise above its comic book roots. Matt Pays of MetroMix.com. It pays to be Metro. Want generic explosions, motorcycle stunts, and lots of yelling? You got it. Want something that rivals The Dark Knight or Iron Man? Sorry. Yeah. A lot of comparisons in these reviews to The Dark Knight and Iron Man. A lot of them. Those are the movies that came out like right around the same time. That's the era. Those were 2008? Dark Knight was 08. Yeah, Iron Man was 08. Dark Knight made a bill. <sighs> Million. That's when the shit changed. Them two movies, this comic book shit is no longer. Iron this. Man was the first one I remember where I was like, okay, I can see that they're taking this seriously. <laughs> but not the Dark Knight? Oh, that's just fucking Christopher Nolan jacking off for three hours. I'm, I'm good. Roger Ebert, Chicago Sun-Times. I have been powerfully impressed by film versions of Batman, Spider-Man, Superman, Iron Man, and the Iron Giant. I wouldn't even walk across the street to meet Wolverine. Throw Iron Giant in the mix, huh? Iron Giant is a superhero? Yeah, why not? Taking Iron Giant over Wolverine? I think I'm going Wolverine. Robert Wolonski of Village Voice. Wolonski or Wontionski? Wolonski. Most of the action is a mere replay of a single sequence. Wolverine and Sabretooth galloping toward one another. Two immortal bros locked in eternal combat. Certainly feels like it. Galloping towards each other. <sighs> Definitely a horseman. I fucking hate Anytime that happens in this movie. <laughs> I fucking hated it. He gets on all four. Wesley Morris of Boston Globe. Oh, Wesley Morris. I went to orientation at ESPN with him. Wolverine feels enslaved to its many masters, Marvel Comics, Hollywood, and the young men who devour their products, never sidestepping the deja vu it inspires. <laughs> Daniel Feinberg of Hit Fix. Did a voice. We're nine years past the first X-Men movie and computer-driven effects have only improved. So how is it possible that Wolverine's metallic claws look worse now? Dude. Same note, too. Look, we're going to get to that in that first scene. <laughs> There's a lot of green screen and a lot of weird CGI in this movie. Holy shit. I remember watching at the time and be like, oh, my God, it's so real. Yeah. And now I'm like, you got to be shitting me. <laughs> and then Alonzo Duralde of MSNBC. We get something more akin to Jim Henson's Mutant Babies with some Highlander touches thrown in for good measure. <laughs> mutant Babies coming soon. I'm here for that movie. Jim Henson's Mutant Babies? Sign me up. That's a file. I don't care who's in it. We'll get a means first note, May's first note, and my first note after these messages. Unless you subscribe to that Patreon, patreon.com slash count the dings. You get an ad-free episode. Hello, listener. Guess who's back? It's me, Anthony Mays your favorite butcher turned podcast producer. And I'm here to talk to you about butcher box. Butcher box is the most convenient way to get high quality meat and seafood that you can trust delivered straight to your doorstep, free shipping, vacuum sealed packaging. It's ready to go right then it's ready to pop in the freezer. You get exclusive member deals and a variety of high quality cuts at an amazing value. Going to the grocery store can be a huge pain. You're usually in a rush at an inconvenient time. You're waiting in line at the meat counter. You're taking a number. Maybe this place doesn't have a number. You're jostling with fellow customers. You're trying to get that ribeye that you want or that nice piece of salmon. Maybe the butcher that you're dealing with has a bad attitude or something. I don't know. That was never me. I promise. But maybe it happens. Butcher Box takes all of that 
out of the picture. You are always prepared with meat and seafood in the freezer, and you're not going to find quality for this price anywhere else other than ButcherBox. So sign up at ButcherBox.com slash Dings, D-I-N-G-S, and get our special deal. ButcherBox is offering our listeners a free for a year offer plus an additional $20 off. Choose chicken breast, salmon, or ground beef free in every order for a year. That's butcherbox.com slash dings, D-I-N-G-S. Hey, it's producer Mays here to talk to you about Factor. Days can be busy. How often have you found yourself at the end of a long day thinking, I wish I had eaten better? Whether it's having trouble finding time to cook, meal prep, or you don't want to spend money on eating out, it seems like there's never enough time to get a quality meal. And that's where Factor comes in. Thanks to the menu of chef-crafted meals with options like Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto, Factor's fresh, never-frozen meals are dietitian approved and ready to eat in just two minutes. So no matter how busy you are, you'll always have time to enjoy nutritious, great-tasting meals. Make your day delicious. From breakfast to dessert, stay fueled with easy, nutritious options. And you can keep kitchen time to a minimum. No shopping, prepping, cooking, or cleaning up. It's all ready to go. And you can choose from six menu preferences to help you manage calories, maximize protein intake, avoid meat, or simply eat a well-balanced meal. So head to factormeals.com slash ctd50 and use code ctd50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month. That's code ctd50 at factormeals.com slash ctd50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month while your subscription is active. Excuse me, can you take a photo of me? Sure, but you know, if you had the new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6, you could snap your own hands-free selfies. Really? Watch. I just flex it to the perfect angle, set it down, and FlexCam with Galaxy AI automatically zooms for the perfect shot. Whoa. Post-worthy. New profile pic-worthy. Flex the newest Galaxy AI foldable, Z Flip 6. Get yours now at Samsung.com. Samsung account login required. FlexCam length varies and is shorter than standard zoom length. Galaxy AI provided free until end of 2025 on supported devices. This episode is brought to you by Skinny Pop Popcorn. Perfectly popped, endlessly delicious. Oh, so light and crunchy. Skinny Pop Original Popcorn is the snack you've been searching for. Made with just three simple ingredients, popcorn kernels, sunflower oil, and salt. Snacking never felt or tasted so good. Perfectly popped, endlessly delicious. Give yourself permission to snack and pick up Skinny Pop Original Popcorn today. Amin. What is your first note? Maze, clip the scene from Curb Your Enthusiasm when Larry's trying to date the Palestinian girl and he introduces himself by his Jewish name. Oh. What's your name? Laib. Laib? Son of Nat. Son of Nat. My friends call me Larry. I like you. What's not to like? Uh, you're a Jew. Eh. Maze, what is your first note? Wolverine and Deadpool are both Canadian? Oh. This is why they won the Adamantium medal at the Olympics. My first note, I know I shoot on comic book movies often, but I do enjoy X-Men movies. Really? Can't remember if I enjoyed this one, though. Really? I've always been on the X-Men. I love the cartoon. I think I had maybe three or four comic books of X-Men. Just can't stay away, can you, Zach? You've always been on the X-Men. Nope. Oh. <laughs> and then, yeah, I like the movies a lot. That first movie, I saw that a ton. I want to say I saw them in the theater like three times. I was all in. Does that make sense? X-Men. Supercharge that. <laughs> Northwest Territories, Canada, 1845. Thank you. Had to rewind to find that. Some bingo <laughs> kid has the black lung pop. <laughs> Say no to him. Big brother says, you're always sick. You were sick when you are my age. I hope he dies. <laughs> Some guy walks in, tells Victor he didn't realize he's still here. He's keeping James company. Gonna diddle him a little bit while he has a mild fever. Yeah. And he'll be fine. Have you taken your medicine? They didn't have medicine in 1845. Yes, they did. Mace, I need to clip the medicine man from a million ways to die in the West. Oh, God. Science. <laughs> <laughs> Thought you were gonna clip some cocaine scenes from Scarface. That's the medicine yeah. they had. <laughs> Can I interest you in a miracle cure? I have only the finest healing tonics and elixirs procured from the farthest corners of the globe. Ogden's celebrated stomach bitters. Can I can I just ask, celebrated by who? Who's who's celebrating about stomach bitters? God, look at the ingredients: cocaine, alcohol, morphine, mercury with chalk. What the hell is mercury with chalk? Science and red flannel. R red flannel. There's shirt in here. Pieces of shirt. Okay, thank you very much. The pounding on the door as a man shouts for Elizabeth. Your father's drunk again. 
Pop. I'm already very confused about the parentage. Yep. And it turns out that Victor's dad is at the door. We hear some off camera shouting. We hear a gunshot. James leaps out of bed, runs to the balcony. His mom is screaming. And James Pop dies while looking to his eyes. This kid's got his ass on. The dad's got his ass on. The dad dies like Joe Latrulio in role models. Sideburns killer is about to tell him a secret. There are things you don't understand. As bones sprout from his hands. I need him to know. No more lies. Woman doesn't want him to know. Baby Wolverine screams at the sky. Uh, screaming at the sky out to an early lead. Good Lord. Baby, this kid is ass off. <laughs> No, not at all. When he screams this guy. The woman stops the guy from shooting. James plunges his claws into the guy's stomach. He wasn't your father, son. Golden dumpster for all the wrong reasons. Victor cucko leering this whole time. Yes, what are you? Runs off in his dumb little red robe. Victor tracks him down and tackles him. I didn't mean it. Yes, you did. He deserved it. You gave it to him. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're brothers, Jimmy. You realize that? And brothers protect each other. And now he's going to spend the rest of the movie trying to kill him. Neither of these bingos have hit puberty, by the way. We have to be hard now. Hard so nothing could ever touch us. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Were they getting diddled? <laughs> they were getting diddled. Absolutely. By both men. I want to go home. We can't. We stick together no matter what. Take care of anyone who gets in the way. Can you do that, little brother? They run off and I said, wasn't this motherfucker sick with COVID a second ago? Yeah. And now he's fucking sprinting in the cold in a bathroom? I don't have a brother. So I don't know if this is how you talk to them. You have an older sister. Yeah. So you were a little brother. Right. But she never said, can you do that, little brother? How you feeling, little brother? What did she say to you? She called me like twat waffle. There you go. Yeah. You could do this twat waffle. <laughs> I mean, are you older or younger than your brother? I'm younger than my brother. Okay, so picture it's 2007. You and your brother are going to the movies. To go see this movie. Is he saying, I need you to go buy the tickets for Norbit? Can you do that, little brother? No, he's not saying that. No, we didn't see Norbit together. I saw that by myself. Uh, okay. We did see this together. But he wouldn't call you little brother. No, he didn't. Zach, are you saying that the exposition delivery in this scene is not great? As if we hadn't figured out that they're brothers at this point. I know they're brothers when he walked in on that little COVID baby kidding me well they didn't know at that point oh my god it's so obvious apparently that dad got cucked oh that dad got cucked big time by the fucking groundskeeper they run off we've got an opening credits montage i love an opening credits montage keep on running and don't look back slow motion right into a wartage and we're gonna need The wrecking Confederates. Now, did you guys notice that in every single American war they fight in, their haircuts remarkably stay the same in every single era? It's the exact same. Their hair heals into that haircut. Their hair doesn't grow. Yeah. That's part of the healing process. They can't get a haircut. Getting shot by cannonballs. Now we're in World War One in the trenches. It's just like Call of Duty. Leaf gets shot. Normandy. WW2. Omaha Beach. This fool is leaping like a jungle cat wrecking Germans. Galloping on all fours up to a bunker. What is happening? He was disturbed. He's shooting the turret gun. Transitions to Vietnam. Shooting from a chopper. Or a different country, according to Zach. I didn't know. You can't get leave to stop shooting. Now he's fucking up locals and fellow soldiers. He's killing American soldiers. You can't stop them. They're surrounded by guns and soldiers. He loves to bare his teeth. He's going cuckoo. Like Dolph and Universal Soldier. Yeah, this is some real PTSD forming in real time. Now they're in front of a firing squad. You skipped the part where he tried to R-word the Vietnamese girl. Some dude tried to stop him and he slaps the shit out of him. I was like, oh, dang. This man is driven. In front of the firing squad, Leaf says, wake me when it's over. They fire. We get the title card. Major William Stryker meeting with them in a POW cell. Great intros position by Danny Houston. Walk in and tell us who you are. You've been charged with killing a senior officer. Leave has a rat on him like he's battling Tango and Cash. This dude is friends to the rats. Ratatouille is sitting on Leaf Shriver's shoulder. Apparently, we have some issues with authority. Just keep a lid on it. That's how the firing squad went. It tickled. You boys tired of running? Tired of denying your true nature? <laughs> Striker knows how special they are, how valuable. You can stay here locked up like freaks of nature, or you can join me. I'm putting together a special team with special privileges. How would you like to really serve your country? 
That's it. Cut to a military PJ? We built this airplane. We built this airplane on CGI. Zooming through the air. Kevin Durand, bleached blonde hair. Wade Wilson sharpening his samurai sword. You know, I love this weapon more than any other thing in the whole wide world. You want to know why? No. It's memorable. Sure, it's a little bulky, tough to get on a plane. You whip out a couple of swords at your ex-girlfriend's wedding? They will never, ever forget it. That's funny, Wade. I think you confuse me with someone who gives a shit. <laughs> Granted, it's, it's probably not as intimidating as having a gun or bone claws or the fingernails of a bag lady. We see Victor's long nails. Wade offers a manicure. Wolverine tries to calm him down. Victor's staring at Wade Wilson like he wants to fuck him and fight him maybe at the same time. Wade Wilson is Teddy Rexing his ass off. He doesn't shut the fuck up. It's Ryan Reynolds. It's Banter Incarnate. Yeah. He's returned. <laughs> Wade says Fred got a new tattoo and he's concerned. Oh, Jesus, Fred. You just met her last night. I love her. I love her. <laughs> She's a gymnast. Gymnast. Lock it in, Zach. I don't know what you're talking about. There is no other Lewis Pinnock. Yes, do Wade. It's so obvious. You better not say who I think you're going to say. The Hobbit. You better not. <laughs> is told to take her down so he controls a plane with his mind. Wolverine's getting air sick. We were meant to fly. We'd grow wings. It busts his balls. More people die from driving than flying. How about getting impaled? Bars. TGT? A lot of TGT in this movie. LBTGT? Larry Bird? Does he actually end up doing that? No, he doesn't. Will I Am says, be nice, or his approximation of nice. Ass on, lock it in. Will I Am? Yes. Oh my God. For Will I Am? No. No. For fucking Hugh Jackman. Of course, for Will I Am. Yeah, he's pretty bad. For Will I Am's hat alone. <laughs> CT5 hat? CT5 worst hat. Oh. Uh, this is a very rare category of ass on. He distracts me. I am taken out by how ass on he is. Yeah, he is very distracting, especially in New Orleans. Super distracting. Now, maybe you two can clarify this for me. Mm -hmm. I always thought it was Lagos, Nigeria. They say Legos twice. Not like the toy. Wheels down in Legos in five. I was like, Legos? I thought it was Lagos. I could be wrong. They're walking through CGI Legos. Well... Gavin Hood is South African. If he fucked that up, that'd be pretty wild. That's a green screen. They're not anywhere. They're not Nigeria. Oh my God. What do you mean? That is a green screen. Dominic Toretto is going to come peeling through this shanty town in no time. Oh, that's Daniel LaRusso's fucking Mia Sibiyagi tree shot. <laughs> Striker tells Zero to do something. He stands in front of the security gate as everybody grabs their weapons. He puts his hands up, but he's got guns holstered near his shoulder blades. He grabs them, guns them down instantly. My man's name is Agent Zero, and I said... Gilbert Arenas, and I call him Gilbert Arenas the rest of the podcast. Okay. Is his superpower the ability to not get shot despite running in a straight line? <laughs> his superpower is to whip the camera around to make it look like he moves fast. Is he just Will Smith's character from Suicide Squad? Doesn't miss shots? He's a good shooter. What can I say? I'm a hell of a shot. Yeah. That's his thing. But what I don't get is where does the indestructibility of being able to run in a straight line while people have machine guns firing at you? I think his superpower is being the cocktail of gun reloads. Because he does some crazy ass slow motion is a horseman. Absolutely. And we're not done, done with slow motion yet. Also wire work. It does some insane backflip. They all fall around him. Victor asks Wolverine if he's having fun yet. Are we having fun yet? Clip it, Maze. Are we having fun yet? <laughs> Kevin Durant has to deal with the tank. Victor is jungle catting his way up a building. Duran punches into the cannon of the tank as it fires and the tank blows up. He's fine. Victor loves it. Massive fireball outside the diamond counters window. Sabretooth chuckling from the top of the building and the diamond boss looks at his CCTV, sees the team in the elevator. Muzak's playing. He hits the easy button, mm -hmm. shuts the power off. Banter incarnate doing his thing in closed spaces. Great. Stuck in an elevator with five guys on a high protein diet. Oh, wait. Dreams really do come true. So just shut it. God damn. Five dudes. Oh, my God. Five dicks. Damn. You're up next. Thank you, sir. You look really nice today. It's the green. It brings out the seriousness in your eyes. Oh, my God. Do you ever shut up, pal? No. Not when I'm awake. Is it like Zach with his erections? Wait, no. What? That's not how that works. No. It's the opposite. No, not the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> That's Ryan Reynolds' power because he's not Deadpool yet. <laughs> Banter. Banter and cutting bullets? Yeah, I think he has like super speed vision. That's not Deadpool's powers. No. I don't know what you want from me. They didn't quite flesh out these characters. <laughs> We're just middle of the mission 
They're all fucking shit up. Comes out of the elevator, swinging his swords, blocking every single bullet that's fired his way. It's ricocheting at gunmen. Helicopter. We see the reflection of a guy shooting at him in the sword blade. He turns, cuts the bullet in half, and it hits two gunmen behind him. Slow motion. More blades spinning. Running leap. Stabs two guys. The boss is cowering. Okay. People are dead. You are dead. Striking everybody. Move forward. If you didn't have that mouth on your way, you'd be the perfect soldier. Woo-hoo-hoo. The opposite of woo-hoo-hoo. Such a heavy-handed future callback. This is a long <laughs> fucking moment of silence callback here. It takes a while to get back to this. Half past dead formula? Yes. In the background, though, he does do this mocking salute. Leader's reaching for a gun at his desk. Will I am says, don't get it started in here. Removes his hand after appearing next to him. This is when I noticed the CT5 wears hat that he's wearing on this mission with his full-on bulletproof vest. Stryker tells the guy he doesn't <laughs> want his diamonds. He wants the black rock. It's nothing. It's a souvenir. It's an uncut gem. <laughs> it's an uncut gem. That's a million dollar opal you hold. Straight from the Ethiopian Jewish tribe. I mean, this is old school, Middle Earth shit. Got a motherfucking dinosaur yeah. gem in this way. The dinosaur, that's right. The dinosaurs fucking stared at this thing. Stryker wants the source. Small village, far inland, three days from here. Cut, Cut to, to the, the village. village. Everybody's held hostage. Wade is apparently the translator. He says it came from the sky. Where did he find the rock? And Wade says to him, cozy, cozy, cozy. And I was like, okay. Wolverine says he's telling the truth. It's a meteor fragment. It landed in Wakanda. Oh, Strecker doesn't care about comms with the base. Threatens the whole village. Villager says it's sacred. And then Stryker smiles as he kills the villager. Villagers panic. Zero starts gunning him down. Logan stops Victor from more killing. He still has morality. They didn't sign up for this. Tensions are rising. Puts him down. We finally got a good thing going here. Don't screw this up. Logan says they've done enough. Who do you think you are? This is what we do. Maybe you'd rather be rotting in a hole somewhere until they figure out a way to do it to us. Is that it? Huh? Woo-hoo-hoo. Logan's quitting. I'm done. He walks away. We can't just let you walk away. Then they let him walk away. There's a lot of tension between Logan and Victor. Between brothers. You sure about that, little brother? Think you can handle walking away, little brother? He tosses his dog tags to the ground, walks off. Thunder and lightning. Cut to the Canadian Rockies six years later. On top of a mountain, walks out shirtless at sunrise. This is where I say a very small Hugh Jackman is living in a cabin up there. He's got a girlfriend. Well, he only looks small because it's fucking massive mountains. No, it's massive green screen. Mm. That's what it is. <laughs> the biggest green screen in the world. Is it feasible to live on top of a mountain like that? No. There's no running water. There's no power. There's nothing. There's shit in a hole. He built it with his bare claws. He's a logger? What is he? Lumberjack? He's got a lady friend now. He's a lumberjack. Yeah. Logan want the punani. Oh. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I sleep all night and I work all day. He's a lumberjack and he's okay. He sleeps all night and he works all day. She makes him give her a kiss at work and co-workers mock him. They're in love. Have you guys ever had to do PDA in front of the fellas? Yeah, I'm sure. But not like that. Like... In front of the guys. I mean, I don't really worry about, oh, the guys are going to mug. Yeah. Oh, fuck, you virgins. <laughs> I haven't been in a situation like Logan is with <laughs> yeah. these lumberjacks. Yeah. I've been lumberjacking too much in my life. <laughs> One of the disembodied voices says, ooh, that's nice. And I said, golden dumpster for that guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> As he drives off with the fellas, she stares at him with live forever eyes. Mm-hmm. Or so I thought. Cut to a carnival. Springfield, Ohio. The Hobbit working as a mentalist? What is he? Lazily powering a light bulb. He's got a light bulb trick. This dumb couple wants to try. She flips the switch. She unplugs it. The guy unscrews the light bulb. It burns his fingers. He drops it and it shatters. Well, that's a stupid trick. Not at all. Technically, he did turn off the light by dropping the bulb. That's true. But it's because those goddamn carnies and maze, I need you to clip it. What's the other thing that scares you? Carnies. What? Circus folk. Nomads, you know. Smell like cabbage. Small hands. Hobbit lives in a trailer. He's lighting up bulbs all over his trailer, making a toy train move. There's a knock on the door. This guy gets the NPP award. Electric train set in a million light bulbs. There are no broads coming to visit him. <laughs> he can turn on everything but a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Show's over. More knocking. It's leave. Show's never <laughs> over for us, Bradley. Liev. It's leave. It's not leave. I'm not calling him Liev Schreiber. It's leave Schreiber. That's his name. Make like a tree and leave. It's leave Schreiber. It was leave Schreiber and scream. It's leave Schreiber and Wolverine. I'm Liev Schreiber, the actor. Hobbit tells him he never said anything to anybody about anything. 
totally different life now. No need to bring up the past. Victor unscrews a light bulb. It flickers. Bradley always thought it would be Wade who came knocking at his door. Well, Wade's gone. Bradley's not afraid of him. Not afraid of dying. Liev cocks his head. Extremely ass off. How do you know? You've never tried it before. TGT. That is excellent TGT. Slashes his face. And then he dies. And the whole carnival loses power. Dude, if I was responsible for powering the entire carnival, guess what? Well, thank God you're not responsible for keeping all the clocks in Chicago on time. <laughs> exactly. This guy apparently was because his fucking trades and everything fell apart. I guess it's his carnival. It has to be at that point. Yeah. There's no way I'm working for somebody if I'm powering this whole shit. Wolverine wakes up screaming for some reason and his girl is just standing at the edge of the bed. His claws are fully out. What a fucking scream though. No one screams and roars like Hugh Jackman. Rawr. I don't think it's his real scream. What? <laughs> I think it's audio enhanced. No, oh, man. Come on. That's not his real scream. What about the veins? She says, was it the wars? He nods. Which one? <laughs> All of them. Cobra formula? Cobra formula? I asked the same question, Zach. Logan formula? Terrible writing. He scratched her arm a little. She's cool with it. She's into it, but they need new sheets. Nope. <laughs> Thank you, Maze. <laughs> Looks like we're going to need new sheets again. Again. Hello. It's only going to take them four days to drive down to the Bed Bath & Beyond from their house on top of the mountain. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a fucking week's journey right there. <laughs> Cut to some Kenny Loggins. Jeep pulls up. Fuck you. Wolverine working with a cigar in his mouth. He likes cigars. Didn't you notice when you had a cigar in the landing boat in World War II? Striker and Zero get out. Guy asks who it is. Smells like government. Tough guy talk? Yep, TGT for sure. Logan hasn't aged a day. Clean living. That's banter. It's terrible. <laughs> then he says to Logan, you remember Gilbert Arenas? And Logan says, still shooting first and recording podcasts later. That works. <laughs> Accurate. He shoots the end off his cigar in a whipping fast motion. You still chewing on cheap cigars? Banter? Bad writing is going to be a horseman at this, by the way. It's a lot of banter. Yeah. <laughs> banter question mark is the horseman. He mocks his job and salary. Lumberjack. Lumberjacks make a hell of a lot more than 18 grand a year. What about in Canada? That's a good point. Yeah. Stand corrected. 18 grand a year? 18.5 plus. I haven't had to kill anyone in a while. Starting to miss it. Right about now I am. TGT oh. through the wazoo. Is it TGT formula? Oh, my. it's outrageous. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't stop. TGB, tough guy banter. What's happening? They're confusing so many. This is what happens when Benny Off and Skip Woods get together. Yep. They just start molding cinephobe thing. Mm -hmm. Striker orders Zero back to the car. Logan chides him. Atta boy. Striker says playing Little House on the Prairie. Reference with a school teacher isn't him. And you would know, huh? He adds a bus newspaper clipping with the headline, Circus Freak Murder. Golden fucking dumpster. <laughs> there is nothing that is going to approach this. Dog, I sat there and I fucking read every goddamn thing. I read the whole paper. No leads on slaying. It's written by Edward J. Brown, a chief staff crime reporter. For this fictitious paper. They busted out all the makings of a newspaper. All the trimmings. Police investigating the gruesome murder are asking for witnesses to come forward. The head of the homicide squad, Detective Dale O'Grady, has appealed to the public for information to help the police with their inquiry. Anyone who attended the circus in the past week may be able to assist police to solve this violent crime. Then there's a second story that's written by somebody else who's not the chief staff reporter. I laugh so goddamn hard, man. Circus freak. Man. A perfect newspaper. The funniest shit is he doesn't even look like a circus freak other than his ears. They're humongous. Is that what they were referring to? They found his train set in his trailer. <laughs> what a freak. <laughs> the guy who drops the light bulb calls him a freak, too. That's true. Yeah. The word on the street spread quick. Wade was killed before that. Someone is hunting down the old team. Logan can take care of himself. This is not about you, Logan. Your country needs you. I'm Canadian. That's Zach if the draft is ever reinstated. 100%. <laughs> I'm fighting for these bums. You kidding me? Your country needs you, Zach. Like, I'm Canadian. <laughs> nah, man. I'm Scottish. I know you, Logan. I know who you are. He drives off, picks up his girl from school, <laughs> sees a dad pick up his son. Pop? Who's that man? Her name is Miss Silver Fox? Yeah. 
Kayla Silverfox. One of the kids says, bye. Bye, Miss Silverfox. Bye. Bye, Mr. Mayor. She asks him what's wrong on the drive home. He explains Stryker came by and that he said no. She wonders why Stryker's still bothering him. Because I'm the best there is at what I do, but what I do best isn't very nice. We didn't see him do anything for Stryker. Yeah, he didn't do shit. Oh, that's right. They let the whole rest of the team handle that one mission. He didn't do anything. Yeah, he didn't do shit. He was Tyrese Halliburton. I didn't do fucking shit. They're saying, no way. You must have rigged something. I didn't do fucking shit. I didn't rig shit. I didn't fucking do this. You're not an animal, Logan. What you have is a gift. Gift? You can return a gift. TGT. TGT. Is it? I don't know. Banter. <laughs> Road is blocked by trucks. He honks. This guy is unreasonably angry. Way out of pocket. Most unnecessary antagonist in Cinephobe history. They're blocking the road on both sides. He says, mind letting us go by? You in some kind of hurry, pal? Flips him off. Bitch, what? <laughs> Shoves him, threatens him, throws a punch. And then Logan catches it. Kayla comes over, touches the guy on the shoulder. He drops his arm. Your boyfriend's got a big mouth. Does he have a big mouth? He didn't do fucking shit. He was so pleasant. <laughs> Yo, can you move your truck? <laughs> Even I think this guy's a hothead. I'm like, this is unreasonable. <laughs> and she says, big temper too. Banter? What is going on? I have no idea, man. Please let us pass. He walks off. Logan wants to know how she did that. Female powers of persuasion. It's a gift. That's called Maze. Please clip in Prince. What's the control? You have those powers over me? You didn't stay in the car, did you? Banter. Cut to nighttime. She asked why the moon is so lonely. Yo, okay. Wolf howling at the moon over their cabin. Time for some moon's position. Oh, God. I'm not typing out this story. Clip it. Don't clip it. Why is the moon so lonely? Why? Because she used to have a lover. You tell this to the kids? No. <laughs> His name was Kwekuatsu, and they lived in the spirit world together. Oh, that's a true story. Mm hmm Right. And every night, they would wander the skies together. But one of the other spirits was jealous. Mm -hmm. Trickster wanted the moon for himself. So he told Kwekuatsu that the moon had asked for flowers. He told him to come to our world and pick her some wild roses. But Kwekuatsu didn't know that once you leave the spirit world, you can never go back. And every night, he looks up in the sky and sees the moon and howls her name. But he can never touch her again. Wow. Cuckoo Kachu got screwed. Kue Kuatsu. <laughs> Means the Wolverine. It's some weird tantric storytelling flirting. I don't know what the fuck it is. It's just to get him the name Wolverine. You're not the only one who doesn't know about the story because there's zero chance he's paying attention to any of this boring story. She's just riding his dick as she's telling the story. He's like, uh-huh. I've definitely been here before. Girl on my lap. Oh, oh Wolverine. <laughs> About telling me everything. <laughs> also, she asks, why is the boot so lonely? He says, why? And she says, because she used to have a Cobra formula. The most elaborate. Eh, eh, he said it. He said it. Of all time, a long fucking walk. Oh, my God. Remember the time you told me that boring story and I had the hugest boner? I had the hugest boner. <laughs> Next day, he cuts down a tree. She's driving. He's cutting logs. Leave is in the middle of the road and stops her car. Logan smells it. Well, can he smell her cooch? Oh, like, oh that's right. He smells saber tooth. My bad. He smells his cooch? What he smelled was a bear's disembodied head at the lumber yard and some scratches on a tree. And he knows Victor's been here. Takes off running. Victor's dirty nails scratching the car. The most annoying sound in the world, bar none. What? The scratching of fingernails against a chalkboard or against metal. A uh, screeching thing? That's really bad. For me, I have a worse one. What's that? I don't like metal scraping against metal. Or like metal scraping against teeth. That's kind of what it is when it's yeah. saber tooth claws. But the metal makes it worse to me. So when he gets his adamantium, you don't like any of the sound effects? No, because I like the sound of a sword unsheathing in movies. Cring, 
I bet you do. <laughs> you like that sword. Oh, you knew I'd like that sword. I knew you'd like that sword. Logan finds the car empty, sees the claw marks on the hood. He's calling out for Kayla Silverfox. Sees a body on the ground. Her shirt is soaked with blood and he roars at the sky. I wrote, he's trying to emote. <laughs> Oh, God, he's screaming at the sky again. Oh, he's doing it again. Mendoza! Don't take her to the hospital. She's dead, for sure. Don't get it checked out. She's dead. You are dead. He didn't check for cut marks or anything. He didn't do anything. All right. May's hospital? We've established these motherfuckers are in the middle of nowhere. Okay, how about this? The local witch doctor. Oh, she is the local witch doctor. Oh. Her name is Silver Fox. Yeah. Cuckoo kachoo. And not Juju's kind. Yep. Cut to leave at a shithouse bar. Scratching a smiley face on the bar top. You're not from around here, are you? <laughs> what gave me away? We can hear Logan call out Victor in a disembodied fashion. Victor! You got insurance on this place? He cannot believe the question. Buddy, have you seen this town? We do not. Taffer would have a conniption. I mean? Say no to? Logan busts over the door. Now, this is a low-income area, and the bar is dead. This guy doesn't have insurance. He has no theme. He has no food. He has no decor. He has no future in the bar business. Is it a bar or a barn? It's a barn. <laughs> <laughs> the bartender can't believe the question. Logan kicks the heavy doors open. Did you call him the bartender? <laughs> He's waiting patiently. Well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. The bartender asked him to take it outside. CT5 worst profession, bartender. <laughs> yeah. Logan's claws come out. The whole barn scatters. Why? Why? <laughs> you don't call. You don't write. How else am I supposed to get your attention? Here's my question about the bartender. He's supposed to be Canadian, right? Yes. How the fuck does he have a prospector voice? They didn't try for a Canadian accent at all. He's a Southerner. It's the frontier, first of all. Second of all, Taffer got East Coast Barstool to hook you up with new tables, new seats. You see this? New POS system gets you three POS systems and speed wells, <laughs> courtesy of fucking... Ezra. They do their run on each other and gallop. I like the shot of his claws coming out in the foreground as we see everyone in the back. I think that's cool filmmaking. And then they ruin it immediately. How do they ruin it? Jungle catting. Okay, I can't do this jungle catting bullshit. Jenny, any, any dots? <laughs> He tackles Logan through the front door in slow motion. Then he tosses him, sends him spinning into some lumber. He's slashing him. He flips him into some heavy machinery. Slicing, stabbing, throwing. I hate to say it, Jimmy, but frankly, I'm a little disappointed. Stay down. You want to stay down. Stabs him through the shoulder, but Victor's claws dug in. Logan stabs him in the gut, flips him over some logs. He lands in a crouch like McCavity. <laughs> McCavity! <laughs> he knocks the logs down. Logan gets flattened by the logs. Then he lifts it off, picks him up by the collar. Tell me something, Jimmy. Was she worth it? He throws Logan into a speeding oncoming logging truck. He rolls over the whole thing. Never stops. Helen Hunt. The truck driver trucks him. Drove straight to practical magic and hit my man wheeling the groceries around. That's a crime. You committed a crime. Who's driving, Gertie? <laughs> How many trucks? <laughs> log, log, log. How far are they from the ice road? They're not far, <laughs> actually, you know? Yeah. It's just not the season for it. When are you going to figure it out? We're not like them. Nike I cuss. Yep. Nike I cuss. Nike I cuss. Nike I cuss. I am nothing like you. Sure you are. You just don't know it yet. Stomps on his claws, breaks them off, so his bone can regrow back, too. Hmm. <laughs> Cut to him on an operating table. They do have a hospital, after all. Bar fight, <laughs> multiple knife wounds. They cut open his shirt. He's fine. What is this, a joke? He gets up, immediately manhandles the doctor demanding, where is he? How would this guy know? He has no idea who you're talking about. You're throwing this guy against a wall? He's a doctor. Then Danny Houston shows up. He offers to help. Logan chokes him against the window. Six years I've been here. No one knew me. Then you show up next day. She's dead. Says he tried to warn him, but didn't know it was Victor. Logan slamming him against so many walls. He explains Victor's appetites were becoming too public, so he had to lock him up, and he went AWOL. He's coming after all of them. AWOL, the alternate title for Lionheart. You've already contradicted yourself, so you did know that he was coming after people. Yeah. CT5, worst liar. Worst liars, yes, thank you. Danny Houston, at no point does any of his shit line up. Because we have another moment later on involving his kid. Yes. 
But also, I'll throw this out there. CT5, best liars. He does it with a lot of confidence. He does, yeah, he does. It's kind of like the seated horrible bosses won. I was drag racing in a Prius. I don't win a lot. I'm sticking with this lie, and I'm telling it with utmost confidence. Stryker says Logan can't beat him, and he knows he can't. He says he's going to find him and kill him. He can give him the tools to defeat him. I'll give you the tools, the duct tape, zip ties, and gloves. I have to have my tools. I promise you two things. You will suffer more pain than any other man can endure, but you will have your revenge. I come with you. I'm coming for blood. No law, no code of conduct. You point me in the right direction, you get the hell out of my way. Chopper flying over a massive lake between mountains. I don't know if you could do this in a helicopter. I don't know if there are trade tables in a helicopter. No, no, no. I no, know no, there no. are seat belts. This is plot lift off. Too early. In a helicopter? That's plot lift off. Four, three, two, the hidden base door he's on an operating table with water underneath they're drawing markings on his skin no small talk at all from this nurse which is my sean aston digging a pool because they would not shut the fuck up if this was a real operation well she's not a nurse she's a scientist oh stop being fucking sexist zach just because you see a woman in an operating room that means she's a nurse i saw people doing prep that's nurse work <laughs> you ever see a doctor doing the prep no clip that for the intro <laughs> absolutely that's nurse work that's nurse work <laughs> Go show me a doctor shaving someone's balls for a vasectomy. It doesn't happen. I didn't go to six years of evil medical school to be shaving your scrotum. It's quite breathtaking. Trust me, I've been through worse. No, you haven't. Ooh, that's TGT. That's tough S talk. Tough scientist talk. Or nurse, according to you. Well, I mean, I thought it was nurse, yeah. Tough nurse talk. TNT. That's nurse work. We're going to make you indestructible. But first... I have to destroy you. Here comes the adamantium position. They found it in Africa. A metal compound so strong, able to withstand virtually anything. It's called exposition. Weapon exposition. That's a horseman. He says, remember what we were looking for in Africa? I remember. Well, I found it. Logan formula? <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. To kill Victor, he's got to embrace the other side, become the animal. He says, let's do this. Almost forgot. And he shows him his dog tags. Like, what the fuck does that matter? That doesn't mean anything. I want new ones. Yeah. What do you want them to say? Wolverine. Half past dead formula and tray tables. Oh. Carry on item stowed. This is plot liftoff. He's hooked up to a CPAP machine and his Wolverine dog tags are there. Stryker invited a bunch of generals to witness this experiment. The cuck. <laughs> like the ununited nations from Batman and Robin. Yeah. I do call Stryker Colonel Cuck at some point in this movie, so it's interesting you say that. Well, General Cuck is also there, so you gotta be careful. Yeah. Today you're gonna witness medical history. Today we're gonna create Weapon X. X? Roman numeral 10. It's gonna give it to you. Cobra formula. Oh, I thought it was Cobra formula for 10. Bond adamantium to his skeleton. They lower him into the water. They're flipping switches. They're hitting buttons. Drills start wearing. Liquids are moving through tubes. We're seeing flashbacks as we get vitals. The needles on the rack all lower simultaneously to drill into him. He's not sedated because anesthesia doesn't work on him. It makes me ask, why does he drink then? That's a good question. He drinks to forget? That's why he drinks so much, right? <sighs> Yes. He's got the blood pressure of a soprano. He's got the heart rate beyond maximum. 260 over 180 is my blood pressure whenever I'm dealing with you assholes. His heart rate is 313 beats per minute. 300? Kayla Silverfox saying he's not an animal. We get slow-mo. And then means the Wolverine and we get flatlining. Get it? It's so stupid. Somehow the x-ray can show us how shiny his skeleton is. Oh, yeah. You didn't know that? <laughs> what the fuck? Adamantium is special. That's how x-rays work. Shows you when there's metal in there. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, I guess he can die. Striker turns away. Dealing with mental health can be hard, but United Healthcare can help make getting care easier. With Mental Health Complete Plus, provided by Teladoc Health. Unlimited virtual sessions for only $59.99 a month. Visit mentalhealthcomplete.com to learn more. This episode is brought to you by Ring. 
From package deliveries to lonely pets, Ring cameras and doorbells make it easy to check in from anywhere, right from your phone. Be there with Ring. Learn more at ring.com. Make this new school year an opportunity for your kids to learn important life skills with Greenlight. Greenlight is a debit card and money app for families where kids learn how to save, invest, and spend wisely while parents keep an eye on kids' money habits. Greenlight also helps families get into their fall routine with a chores feature that lets parents assign chores and pay kids allowance when they check them off. Get your first month free at greenlight.com slash Spotify. Greenlight.com slash Spotify. You get a close-up of the heart monitor. It gives the faintest flicker of a beep. Beep. Now it's green. The tank is steaming like a hot tub. Adamantium is depleted. No rejection. Stryker can't believe they did it. Zero asks if they're taking him to the island. Danny Houston is ass off with his reactions, turning around and looking amazed by what's happening. Danny Houston's killing it here. Zoom in on Wolverine's ear. Stryker says they'll use his DNA for weapon exposition 11. So Stryker's like, we did it. We did it. Yes. It's the exact same celebration as Veronica Corningstone when she nails hosting the news by herself. It's the exact same. He says erase his memory. Hey, man, he's not a goddamn hard drive where you can just boop. And then, <laughs> what science is this? Erase his memory? That's the shot I asked him for you? I love to... They just made his skeleton indestructible. I love to... I love to... I love to... That part is not as Sean Assidy as erase his memory. Literally, they took all his memories, grabbed it, and threw it into goddamn... The trash can on the computer. No, I mean, they'll get Manny Jacinto from the Acolyte to come in and just wave his hand. It'll be fine. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Well, guess what? He heard them say that. He starts breaking out of the constraints. Jumps out and he literally roars. Rawr! R-A-W-R. Rawr! Golden dumpster. Here's the trailer money shot. Butt ass naked. Oh, his dick is out. Of course. Dick first. He is dick first. It's adamantium too. Yeah. Oh my God. How about a hugest boner? That's not how it works, guys. <laughs> I did like the shot of the very shiny metal claws on the x-ray machine moving out of his hands. Sure. I'm with both of you. We're all in the same neighborhood, but the money shot. That's plot lift off for me. Yeah, I'm fine with that. That's where the trailer takes off too. Zero shoots him in the head. It bounces off his adamantium skull. He runs naked, slashing people on his way out. You see that claws slash an X and a huge metal door. Ah, uh, get it? Uh, you guys get it? Yeah. It's an X. Like X Men. Kicks the bottom triangle out. He stares at his metal claws and he jumps off the cliff into the waterfall, still naked. Pick first off a waterfall. Danny Houston tells Gilbert Arenas, hunt him down. Take his head off. And I said, how? You just bonded adamantium to his goddamn skeleton. Yeah, you think maybe you didn't think this one through all the way, Striker? You sure about that? Yeah. You sure about that? Maybe they should have done the whole hard drive delete before the procedure. Crazy thought. I get it. They didn't know it was going to work, but come on. You got to plan for success. Also, have you ever tried to listen underwater? That shit ain't easy, man. Well, he is the Wolverine. What are his superpowers? He heals. He's got claws. And then hearing and smell. All right. Like a Wolverine. They all do that. You ever try to whisper around a Wolverine? Hey, what'd you say? <laughs> Some old couple is driving to their shit house farm. They see Wolverine running naked into their barn. The old lady spots the naked man immediately. <laughs> Chinatown. This old broad is definitely ready to have the cobwebs oh. knocked off her cooter. Oh, no. Cooter? You saw she stared at him running into the barn. Like, All right. I think there's a naked man in the barn. Yep. Old man goes in with a shotgun. He's searching. He sees Wolverine kneeling in a stall. Wolverine tells the old man it's cold because his dick is small, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. Why would you say that? He says, son, what in the hell are you doing? He says, beating off. Nope. Uh, That's a different version. And Wolverine says, it's cold. Triple X, man. And Zach... Save note, too, because I was like, is he explaining something to us? That like, I was really cold and I was in the pool. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry. This was the baby's room. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I was in the pool. I was in the pool. You got no clothes on. Yeah. You're not on the drugs, are you? No. Damn, I was kind of hoping you had some. Just had a rough night. Yeah, you could say that. Come in the house, some of his son's old clothes will probably fit him. Tells him to cover up with a blanket. Don't give the old lady a 
heart attack from his dick, basically. Which then made me think, okay, so the old man's dick is really small. Or he just saw the adamantium hog that is freezing between Hugh Jackman's leg. Or again, there's no skeleton in the hog. Unless I don't know things about Wolverines that you know. Or hey man, he's got a couple extra bones in his hands. Why couldn't he have one down there? Or Maybe it's a micro penis situation where the old lady's going to have a heart attack because she thought it was going to be a oh, hog and realized, oh my God. Yeah. Oh. Such a disappointment. Yeah. Yeah. She was ready. She's, well, not moist. Cut to him wearing some very tight clothes. He sees the claws again. <laughs> He's studying them. Clip these sound effects. These look like Who Framed Roger Rabbit claws. I felt so ashamed. I felt so much shame. Retroactively? Because I remember watching X-Men and be like, oh my God, how'd they do it? It looks so real. And now look, look, Who Framed Roger Rabbit might be too much. I literally just saw Who Framed Roger Rabbit a week ago. You're giving him too much credit. You ever see Gene Kelly dance with fucking Jerry the Mouse? Yeah. It was like the first time they ever had cartoons. <laughs> what it looked like 20 cb ring that fucking bell <laughs> that might be 19 cb i don't know man that's fucking old right there gene kelly reference what are you tony medley <laughs> speaking of tony medley fucking fraud for not reviewing this movie oh my god i was pissed what was he doing in 2009 not watching cinephobe movies that's what he was doing he was railing against obama <laughs> he's so distracted by the knock at the door that he accidentally turns shreds the shelf then the radiator and the sink makes a huge mess and ruins their bathroom comedy i wanted to give it 20 cv but then i realized nope this is still a movie trope if you're in the bathroom someone is gonna knock on the door because people in the movies are fucking nosy as shit he's taking a shit and impatient let him take the shit i hate this supper's on the table i hate calling it supper but you fucking idiots it's not supper you never been to a supper club i've been to a supper club i called it dinner it was an ass back the dinner club <laughs> Is either that because you started beating off at the table. Oh, well, that also, yeah, they didn't like that. That's nurse work at the supper club. <laughs> the sun was still up. Sorry for going in the summer. I don't want to tell you. <laughs> Scott Summers. He brings out the, the sink, <laughs> says he'll pay for it. With what money, Logan? With your lumberjack salary? Hey. Teen grand a year? You're butt ass naked 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Old man is unreasonably okay about this. I don't understand this. He thanks him. He says, wouldn't have been decent to leave you out there to freeze. Nah. I don't really use the word decent. What? Because he's a bad dude. What? Because he's had a rough life. Get it? That was failed Cobra formula. Yeah. Because he was waiting for them to ask him, what do you mean? Logan formula. They didn't take the bait and kudos to the old couple for not taking the bait. They started talking motorcycles. 48 panhead fresh off the line sounds like a slur. 20C bingo. Ass off for the broad wife who doesn't want to hear about choppers. She's like, oh, here we go. I was like, yeah, she's doing it. But also you're abroad. He'll sleep in the barn. Nothing he can break out there. Banter. Nothing you can break out there like my wife's cervix. Oh, I said, holy shit. He's really sleeping in the barn. Is he afraid that Logan is Juju? <laughs> yes. Yes. That's exactly what he's worried about. He's having flashbacks of that stupid ass moon story. Reminiscent of her Cobra formula about the moon. It's all about the memories, man. Next morning, he's sitting on a motorcycle contemplating old man asks if he slept okay. You look like a man fixing to do a bad thing. You know what happens to men who go looking for blood? What? They find it. Cobra formula. Logan formula. We all got a choice, son. Yeah, well, mine got taken. Bullshit. Here, take this jacket. It's from the first X-Men movie. Jesus, how tall and Jack was his son? I know. Well, because the clothes are super tight on you, but the jacket is perfect. Old lady walks in. She says, oh, it fits you beautifully. And I said, keep your panties on, Grandma. Oh, boy. He tells him to take the bike for a spin, test the suspension. He sits on it. It buckles. He says, man, you're heavy. I said Amin's going to make a Zion Wolverine son joke here, probably. Not yet, Zach. But it's coming. All right. Oddly enough, I do make one. Not here, though. Yeah, you try to peg me with that all the well, time, and it's not going to work. Like Deadpool? You're not a stranger. He's not fat. He just has adamantium bones. So he put a little weight on recently. She comes in. She got breakfast. Bullet right through her chest. Tray full of live forever. Uh. Pitcher full of live forever. Shatters the pitcher. Down she goes. Travis gets shot next. Camera zooms to zero. Sniping from a hillside. Dude, you didn't even try to shoot Wolverine. No. 
Set them up. Gilbert Arena says, Weapon X is in the bar and he just murdered two civilians. I said, CT5 liars for Gil. Absolutely. <laughs> we didn't miss a beat. He was like, yeah, he just shot two people. Why do they need justification for that if their next move is going to be blow him to bits? I don't know. See if he can survive that. I said, hoo, Yeah. Helicopter comes in, launches missiles at the barn. It blows up like the house in Honest Thief. Exactly like it. Wolverine wheeling out of the fire on the bike in slow motion, golden dumpster. This barn explodes four times. This is not physics. Oh, you think this is not physics? <laughs> Just hold on. <laughs> Zero can't believe it either. Tells the chopper to come get him. He leaps onto it. Terrible CGI of him jumping on the chopper. Oh, awful. He wants to blow his brains all over the road. <laughs> These soldiers are terrible. These are the best of the best that you have who aren't mutants. They hired the soldiers from fucking Nigeria who fucking shot right at Gilbert Arenas, but somehow missed them. He's drifting the motorcycle through the woods. There's a Hummer chasing. There's another Hummer chasing. Here's where I ask the question. Is the motorcycle made out of adamantium too? <laughs> because I see the sparks of the bullets hitting it. And? It's a great question. The helicopter rises up in front of him on the road. After he rides by and slashes the turret gun of the Hummer in front of him, then he throws down his claws like an e-brake, does a 180, mm -hmm. leans down, slashes one Hummer on his way back. Holy green screen on all of this shit. In slow motion, the Hummer flips into the air. The chopper has to swerve to avoid it. Then he climbs aboard the other Hummer. Zero leans over and shoots a missile while the pilot is flying the helicopter. Logan jumps off the hummer explodes flips in the air he's launched into the sky in slow motion flying towards the helicopter he reaches up and slashes all the blades on the chopper then puts his other claws on the top of the chopper and hangs on as it crashes ladies and gentlemen I think we've got company for Golden Dumpster. Oh, yeah. Along with Circus Freak Murder. Holy shit. Throws himself off right before the helicopter crashes and rolls in slow motion. He sheathes his claws. Striker's calling for zero. Logan walks over to the radio. Somehow Zero's still alive. Very badly burnt. Remember those old Mervyn's commercials where people are like pressed against the window and they're like, open, open, open. That's how he is against the glass of the, yeah, big time 20 CB for Mervyn's. Mine, exactly. He's pressed against the glass like Barlin Wayans in any movie. <laughs> Yo, Danny Houston, this is where he solidifies CT5 worst liars. Zero, Zero, is Logan dead? Did he kill him? Zero, come in. Is he dead? And fucking Logan walks up and says, hey, motherfucker. Danny Houston's like, Oh, thank God you're alive. Come back to base. I was like, come back to base. Base. I said it out loud and I sounded like Frank Isola hanged up. I could not believe <laughs> Danny Houston said, oh yeah, no, I wasn't trying to kill you. I was trying to let you know. Shit is kind of crazy, whatever. He's a confident liar. He's a terrible liar. But again, all the confidence in the world, man. Wrong answer. After I kill Victor, I'm coming for you. Logan, listen to me. If you go down this road... You're not going to like what you find. You wanted the animal, Colonel. You got it. Did he want the animal? No. Nah. Didn't he? He just asked them to come back and start working again. Tell Zero the old couple were good, innocent people. Zero laughs. It's funny how good, innocent people tend to die around you. Tough guy. To what do you... Zero. Gilbert. Gilbert Arenas. He knows he's done. He's killed more innocent people than anybody in this movie. He's going to die talking shit. That's exactly Gilbert Arenas. His last words will be shit talk. So we get Logan walking away. Then he draws his claws out and scrapes the ground. And apparently there's a gas trail that none of us saw. None of us saw. And the spark lights up all the way to the helicopter. And it blows up as we get slow-mo walk away. Oh, my God. How do they walk away in movies without flinching when it explodes behind them? There's no way. I call bullshit on that. When they flew the Millennium Falcon outside of the Death Star, it was followed by the explosion. That was bullshit! Don't you damn bad mouth Star Wars! That was all accurate! I need an MRI! I need an MRI! This helicopter explodes worse than the Honest Thief house. Yes, for sure. This one's worse. <laughs> Maze, you can hate that explosion all you want. It's way better than this helicopter. It's two feet behind him. Yeah. There's no way he's not engulfed in flames. Scientist tells Stryker the only thing that'll take Logan down is an adamantium bullet. Luckily... She's got six of them right here and a revolver. Stryker declares the facility compromised. It's time to relocate. And this general tells Stryker it's turning into a disaster. You just spent half a billion dollars making him indestructible. 
Say no to General SNTG. What are you doing? Someone comes in. Hey, Striker, the young mutant you've been looking for. They found him. What? Mm. Oh! Cut to Spanish class at a school. Dude, this whole Cyclops <laughs> arc is so fucking bad. It's perfect. He's got his red glasses on. His teacher wants them off. I've got a headache. When they show his POV, it's all red. Then you can wear him in detention after school. Yeah, Spanish teacher. Tell me he's not ass off. Look at this, man. <laughs> I believe he had a fucking migraine right there. Logan rode his motorcycle all the way to Vegas. Distances in this movie don't mean shit. Repeat offender, Las Vegas. I wish I knew how to quit you. It's such a far motorcycle ride. I felt like an idiot for even wondering this. Do they have some version of Vegas in Canada that I don't know about? Are they in Vancouver? Does Vancouver have a Vegas? In order to solve the shot asked it, yes. you started digging your own pool. <laughs> I was like, hold on, I got a shovel too. Let me see. I was so confused how he got there. I got a lot of questions about what's going on with Will I Am here. He's got a shitload of cactuses and snakes. Oh my God. He tosses him a beer. Six years later, he finally got a shirt and belt buckle to match his stupid fucking hat. I can't hear what he's saying because the ass is covering his mouth and everything around him. Ass on. Will I am's position. Victor got worse after Logan left. Felt abandoned. He has a boxing gym? What the fuck is his character doing? Where did this accent come from? Victor, he had to prove he was better than you. Hunting and killing everything he was born at. Quite a few months later myself. Couldn't take rounding him up. Rounding who up? Leave it alone. Rounding who up, John? Hey, damn it, John. We hunted our own kind, Logan. There's a special place in hell for the things we did. Logan didn't do shit, by the way. <laughs> Logan was just chilling. I didn't do fucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. Mutants. Why? Striker said we'll be making a difference. Protecting people from the bad ones. What is this accent? He didn't have it in the before times. It's ass on. That's the accent that he has. The way he tries to turn and sit dramatically is so ass on. It's a boxing gym slash cactus store. There are terrariums everywhere. Well, the cactus, those are character development. What? He's got snakes and cactuses. His character development, he doesn't like to water things? Yeah. He doesn't like irrigation? It's Vegas. <laughs> they fucking scotch taped seven ideas together for this Will I Am character. I mean, we go to Vegas every fucking summer. Have you seen one terrarium with a fucking cactus in it? No. There's no character development in that. Mace, I need you to clip from Starsky and Hutch. Man, what the hell is a terrarium? What the fuck is a terrarium? A terrarium is an artificial ecosystem. It's designed to simulate Corky's natural habitat. Well, I can dig that. Well, I am wonders how Logan is going to take Victor down. Remember that stuff from Africa? <laughs> yeah, I remember Africa. What about it? And he shows his claws. Will I am is stunned. <laughs> Logan formula. <laughs> yeah, I remember Africa is a ridiculous line. It's an incredible line. Clip Nas from Belly. Let's go to Africa. <laughs> Please be for real. Yo, I've never been more serious in my life. I mean, we've been to the islands. We've been everywhere. Who says we can't go to Africa? I mean, but I mean, I mean, I don't know. Africa's far. So what? So it's not to ask him what they did to him after. Well, now I kind of got to. <laughs> ask about the island that Zero mentioned. Maybe Dukes knows. Frank Dukes? Same no too. By the way, Dukes developed an eating disorder. Coping mechanism. What, what kind, kind of a disorder? An eating disorder? <laughs> don't mention his weight. Durand is massively fat. Zach. Oh, boy. I said it's white Zion. I said. Uh, Ween's going to say, well, Zion did go to Dukes. <laughs> oh, wow. That's better than mine. <laughs> that will make you Frank Dukes. No, no, no. It's Dukes. Gotcha. Like, put up your Dukes, right? He's drinking not a big gulp, the biggest gulp. It's an icy. That's a paunch burger from Parks and Rec. Size cult. His tattoo is now thick with four C's, wearing a Save the Whales sleeveless shirt. Fred Dukes? That looks like the creature that ate Fred Dukes. Hey, be nice, man. Hey, fat, Fred. Um, seem to remember that girl when she was about 85 pounds, huh? 
Oh, that's funny. You're still so funny, Logan. He has no idea where Victor is. What's the island, Slim? Because don't let the door hit you on the way out. Ass off for fucking Durand as he stares at him when he calls him Slim. Listen, I ain't leaving here until you tell me where Victor is. Come on, bub. For old times' sake. Did you just call me Blob? Blob. Blob. He runs and belly bumps his ass across the room. Blob is angry. Will I am is sucking down a Bud Heavy like I told you so. He teleports out of the way. The product placement by Budweiser in this scene. Incredible. I didn't call him Blob. I said Bob, god damn it. Now he's going to box him? That's Will I am's idea. Dance with him a little bit. Look at him. Big old ass coming out the front of his shirt. Jesus. He's going to have a coronary for Christ's sakes. Is there even a stretcher big enough to take this guy out of here? So now you're going to continually make fat jokes? I mean, look, we're here, Maze. Well, I mean, it's on now. Yeah, we're here. We're here. We're <laughs> at the carnival. Might as well play some games. Circus Freak isn't murdered yet. Bell rings. Blob clocks, Logan. You're an asshole. Will's not worried about Dukes getting out on a stretcher. Bell rings again. Will I am says, whoop his ass. Logan's wailing on his stomach, doing nothing. Duke punches him once. He drops. Logan's dodging, giving body shots like the bear in New York. Duke lands an uppercut and flips Logan. Duke picks him up, headbutts him, and we hear the metal skull and it dazes Dukes. Wait, wouldn't all of the punches land harder because of the Adam? Man, for fuck's sake, I mean, what the fuck is wrong with you? The movie doesn't <laughs> make any sense stop doing this stop trying to make sense of it all logan jumps off the top rope of the ring delivers an overhead thump on the head it knocks dukes down logan jumps on him pushes the claws out through the gloves asks where victor is and ruins a perfectly good pair of boxing gloves thanks a lot those are nice boxing gloves too everlast did it for the look of the claws through the boxing glove bopped him on the head like a whack-a-mole Victor is cucko leering through the window at Cyclops as he Bart Simpsons his way through the conjugation of Hablar. Same note, too. I do want to ask, going to detention and writing shit out a hundred times. 20 CB. Big time. Okay. I can't speak for every school system, but I know my kids have never had to do the write out a hundred times. They barely have detention, to be honest with you. I wondered, do teachers really count that shit? There's no way, right? No. They just see that you did a lot. Did you ever do the... I, 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 oh. will, 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 like that. You have to do it that way. That's the fast way, right? Yes, that's the fast way. Maze, did you have to do that? Too tall to ride on the chalkboard, right? No. <laughs> you have to get on his knees and shit. <laughs> you know that second chalkboard <laughs> above the chalkboard that no one ever used? That's for no, me. Oh, that's, yeah. that's the one. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> wheel that shit up. <laughs> he starts to run away. Victor heads him off at the pass. A little dark for sunglasses, don't you think? Banter? He's leaping all catty wampus from tree to tree. He's jungle catting. I can't take this jungle cat parkour. Do I look like a cat to you, boy? <laughs> Am I jumping around all nimbly bimbly from tree to tree? No. They gotta stop with this. It looks so dumb. Scott Summers runs like little Leia. Oh my god. Like a bingo. Trips him, glasses <laughs> come off, the beam from his eyes cuts through the school building. Striker's there. Victor jumps on top of him, mounts him. Puts his hand on the back of his head. Summer says, no, no, don't do it. No, that's not no. what happened. That's not what happened. Clip it, Maze. No, don't clip it. <laughs> Logan and Dukes says Victor's with Stryker on his island. They run Epstein Island together. They're working together. <laughs> Dukes can't believe he didn't know that. Logan's either pissed or coming. I can't tell. Pacing around the ring, he groans and sighs. Stryker sedates Scott Summers. How is he surprised by the fact that Victor works with Stryker? He's an idiot. He's stupid as fuck. And also Stryker is stupid as fuck because he's supercharged his enemy. I don't think Stryker has a real plan. It's a terrible plan. He does have a plan, though. Logan's the only one that's left. I trust you can handle that. As I did before, didn't I? Oh, yes, you did that. Victor wants to know this deal still applies. Of course. Now bag him and tag him. What kind of a deal? Not trying to be funny. I literally asked what kind of a deal. Yeah. So that laser beam, that light the beam that cut through the school. Mm -hmm. School building still standing? Yeah. Sean Astin. There's no firefighters, nothing, no emergency service. There's no fire alarm. It was a clean cut. It sliced right through. Cauterized the wound. Logan asked about Epstein's Island. It's oh. where Stryker takes the mutants. <laughs> I mean, can they be kids and take him to an island? What else do you call it? Nurse work. <laughs> That's nurse work, man. I don't know what to tell you. I've had a bunch of surgeries. Like, I know nurse work when I see it. Uh, Logan is so stupid. Wait a minute. Takes who? Mutants. All right. Logan's retired.
Okay. Oh. He's, oh. Look, man, he's thick skull. It's made of adamantium now. Not a lot of stuff can get in there. He realized that they killed Kayla Silverfox, so he'd let them put adamantium in him, killed her for an experiment. Ass off whispering for Hugh Jackman, though. How do you know that's how he figures it out, Zach? Because he just says it out loud. He flexes his head and he looks at his head. Wait a second. Oh, shit. Oh, my metal claws from the beginning of the experiment. Then he goes full Dark Knight. Where's Lau? Where is he? Bob says Stryker kept it real secret. Claws come out in his face, but, but a prisoner escaped once. His name was Remy LeBeau, street hustler from New Orleans. Guards called him Gambit because he kept taking all their money at poker. That's all the exposition I know. All right. Taylor Kitsch is in this movie. Dude, they wait <laughs> so long. Will I am S. What is the end game here, though, Spence? Taking their powers, combining their powers. So if I have to come back here, I'm going to take your head off. Will's going with Logan. He wants to get it started in there. There's no redemption where I'm going. I ain't asking. What? How of all the Weapon X Dangerous Night crew members is Will I Am the one that tags along? They ride their motorcycle from Las Vegas to New Orleans? Dog, distances might be the horseman. Take a fucking airplane. Yeah. How many times did they gas up? This motherfucker can teleport. <laughs> He loves to ride, though. Come on. We're on Bourbon Street, in case you didn't know it was New Orleans. Of course. Why would you ride your motorcycle on the Bourbon Street? Why would you dad? <laughs> There's no other street in the city of New Orleans. It couldn't have been the canal. It couldn't be anywhere else. It had to be Bourbon. Might be a poker game at the House of Blues. Let's give that Dave Yeager award away. To who? Daniel Negranu. Oh, yeah. Professional poker player. Sit at the table. Can't play poker. Doesn't know how to sit at a poker table. Nope. He's terrible. Gambit is shuffling cards in midair with his powers. Maze, I need you to clip whatever you can get from Channing Tatum. Yes. In Deadpool versus Wolverine. The name's Remy Labo. The Diable Blanc. But you can call me the Gambit. It's been a while since I've seen Sling Blade. Hit me again. They call me the Gambit. Do they? Are you sure you didn't just really, really want them to, but it never quite worked out? So would they, uh... You know, we never had a Wolverine up in here. But I can tell you now, it's just a common courtesy to ask before you drink up all of my liquor. Well, it's a good thing I don't give a fuck. Not a single word. What do you do exactly? Charles the playing cards. Make him go boom. Put him up against this Taylor Kitsch. All I could think of when I was watching this was, oh man, Channing Tatum definitely fucking killed this. Shit. And then right after every Channing Tatum clip you put in there, clip it. All them years. All them years in the factory. All that time I put in. And I'm the fucking delivery boy. And also, my name is Jeff. My name is Jeff. It's hefe, man. Yeah, and we don't be knowing that it ain't coming off without that dome gonna come off with it. I'm so sorry, beautiful. I want this to be gentle. Who is your dialect coach? The Minions? I feel like we are missing critical exposition here. Will spots some CGI card tricks so he knows that's Gambit. He thinks it's cool. I'm gonna go cover the back in case he rabbits. Be rabbits. And my most Barbara Walters voice. In case he what's? His what? I'm not gonna fight with him. Yeah, right. You get in fights with everybody? Don't dogs kill cats? Not really. Maybe in cartoons, but not really. Yeah. They don't care. We see Gambit's cane with the chunky crystal he got from Sedona on top of it. <laughs> He's wearing a purple shirt, hat covering his eyes. He confirms his identity after making sure he doesn't owe Logan money. Will goes to the fire escape. He sees Victor walking through the alley. They ask to deal Wolverine in. What can he get for $17? Cab ride home, perhaps. Victor calls Will I Am the new babysitter. Will I Am says, I'm not scared. Really? It worked on Frank Dukes. Will I Am punches him and teleports. <laughs> Have done that because now I'm gonna kill you before Logan even gets a chance. Remy asks what brings Logan to the fair city. Victor Creed it stops Remy dead in his tracks whilst dealing cards, but then pretends not to know the name. CT5 worst liar. And who, and who that? Who that? Who that? Who that? The man I'm gonna kill works for a man named Stryker on an island. Just need to know where it is. And why would you think I know that? Why would you, Dad? <laughs> Damn it. I ain't know my daddy, but I'm sure I shot out of his dick ready. Jesus. Christ, that is graphic. Yeah, he was laying them buttery nuts all up in my mama, and I shot out there, and I said, what's up, Doc? He knows he's the guy who escaped, and the guy who's going to take him back. Outside, Will I Am has his dukes up with turquoise jewelry. Okay, he really does live in the desert. You know, John, there's something I always wanted to tell you. Throws some punches, teleports, and Victor claws in anticipation right into his heart. You're predictable. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I can feel your spine, Johnny boy. That's funny. Never knew you had one. 
CT5 dumbest death. Oh my god. You can disappear at any time and teleport to anywhere. And you teleport to right next to him. Of course, once you disappear, he's like, where could he pop up? The same place? Nope. Let me just turn around and fucking hit. I can't tell. Is Taylor Kitsch trying to do an accent? Obviously, he's not doing the Cajun accent. And this is where we get our Lewis Pinnock because he is in and out of an accent the entire time. Sometimes he's Cajun. Sometimes he's vaguely from New Orleans. Sometimes he's just Taylor Kitsch. Sometimes he's... <laughs> From the south, he says, those are mighty nice tags you have on there, sir. Mighty nice, sir. Suck it. Those are mighty nice tags you got there, <laughs> sir. Suck it. Cards turn over in his hands. His eyes start to glow. He fires a fuckload of cards at Logan. Logan tries to bub his way out of it, but he gets blasted by the deck of cards. Bub Carrington. Through a brick wall after it spreads in midair, glinting with energy in slow motion. Victor's collecting John Sample or some shit. I don't know. Seaman. Seaman. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Took his ooze out. <laughs> Logan gets up, sees him in front of Will's dead body. I'm pretty sure Will's breathing. Gambit comes out, doesn't see the stare down. Two years I rotted it. <laughs> All them years I rotted in that hill hole. I ain't never going back. A scowling Logan casually elbows him in the face. Golden dumpster. I like that. Absolutely. You know how long I've been waiting for this? Ooh, I'm about to make a name for myself here. Yeah. He takes out his claws. Victor says, ooh, shiny. Tell me something, Jimmy. Do you even know how to kill me? I'm going to cut your goddamn head off. See if that works. That's some serious TGT right there. I do like those two together. All right. Now they're charging and jungle catting at each other. Nimbly bimbly. The double jungle catting. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so stupid. Also, I'm not sure that it's effective, like efficient. No, not if you're a human. If you're a jungle cat, sure. Getting slow, old man. Logan stabs him right through the hand. Then another claw to the chest. Victor's roaring. He's roaring at this guy. Ah! How the fuck did Gambit get on the roof so quickly? Great fucking question. He was knocked out on the ground two seconds ago. This bingo comes helicoptering in with his staff. Oh, smashes the ground, sends everything flying. And Victor takes this opportunity to escape. This dude got knocked out. Then he got up, ran away a couple of blocks, climbed up some other building, came running back down on the roof of the building to helicopter down. Why? If his whole thing is like, I'm not going back to that island, wouldn't you just escape while these two assholes fight each other? Yes. Just leave. Why would you come back? He's mad that he got elbowed in the face before he finished his TGT. Now they start fighting as Victor runs away. He's swinging his cane in front of him. Logan says, that's a nice stick. Woo! Gives him the middle claw, then he cuts it in half. Gimme does a cartwheel. Oh my god. Oh, got his ass. Logan falls down. He starts climbing up the building with his two half canes. Chubba, 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 chubba. He's using them as pegs. As what? No stranger, clip it again. <laughs> He's never had his staff broken in half before, so this is a new move. He's experimenting right now. Flying leap across the alley to a fire escape. Flips across the alley. Why? Logan slashes it, cuts it down. Now he's chewing up the ladder like a paper shredder. Yeah. This is what we call action. Gambit crashes to the ground. Throws him against the wall. Okay, Shathid. Here's the deal. <laughs> Cliff it. Okay, class, let's take roll. Um, shithead. It's Shathid. Why did they feel the need to show us so much of that shit? They kept going and going and going. So you're going to take me to the island where I can kill Creed, Stryker, and pretty much everyone you hate in this world. You understand? You understand? You're really going to kill him as long as you stay out of my way. Yeah. Or you could help him. Yeah, it's a pussy. You nasty, mon beauté. Les éléments temps relais, hein? Cut to Striker admiring a naked, frozen young boy in a case with bright green and blue eyes. He's got heterochromia. General Munson is looking under the sheet at Weapon Eleven's huge boner. Oh no 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 no, Maze. That's Weapon Eleven Eleven. Striker says all the strengths, none of their weaknesses. You really hate them, don't you? No, I don't hate them. What are we talking about here? Who's the them? Mutants. Oh, okay. <laughs> His son is one. After 20 years working with mutants, I just know what they can do. You can win this war before it starts and save countless lives in the process. He wants to take the fight to the enemy before they take it to them. This is a lot of exposition we didn't need. We see Ryan Reynolds with his mouth sewn shut, needles in his head. Munson tells him this is the end of the line. Mm -hmm. What the next was a hiccup. We know about your son. Uh -huh. 
We know he's a mutant and he killed your wife. Who's that man? General exposition right here. Striker says it has nothing to do with my work. Bullshit. You're too close to this. We're shutting you down. I got shut the studio down, yo. <laughs> I, all right, the only way I open the studio up now, y'all gotta walk up town to the Bronx and get breast milk from a Cambodian immigrant. <laughs> I only drink the finest breast milks. You're right, I won't lie to you. You just did. You just lied to him. He's terrible at this. At the same time, he's really good at trying to be confident through it. He's charismatic as fuck. As he tells awful, unbelievable lies. Danny Houston is charismatic. Oh yeah. He immediately turns into patriotism. He picks up a weapon that looks like a surgical instrument and he stabs Munson in the gut, ass off, for Munson's I got stabbed face. How is killing a general going to solve your problem? It's the government as a whole is shutting your sh They're still gonna shut him down. It's not like the general's all and like, I'm gonna shut you down. All I need to do is tell everybody else my plan that I've told you first. This is a barely poorly thought out plan. Cut to Gambit, Logan, and Hoagie in a seaplane flying towards <laughs> the island. Gambit sitting on Hoagie's lap. <laughs> <laughs> We're up and down like a freaking yo-yo here. <laughs> I don't like to fly. I'm Wolverine. He's Canadian, not Italian. Not from Brooklyn. <laughs> oh! Emmy? <laughs> Keep your eyes on the... On the what? On them clouds? <laughs> All them clouds. <laughs> Gambit won the plane in a game. Jacks over fives. And I said, oh, I mean, it's been known to jack over some fives before. <laughs> hey. Well done. <laughs> they fly over Three Mile Island. Hide in plain sight. Three Mile Island? <laughs> My brain exploded. I said, <laughs> through my phone. I was from New Orleans. What? Three mile in a seaplane. Yeah. I thought the island was going to be the middle of the Gulf. No, 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 no. That makes sense, right? You got a seaplane, you go right there. No, 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 no. They flew all over Tennessee and goddamn Kentucky and all the West Virginia on the way to Three Mile fucking Island. Insane. Which, by the way, is not an isolated island. No. It's in the middle of a fucking river. It sure is. Watch how the cops get there so quickly later. <laughs> That's why they have a fire truck. Yeah. No one's going to snoop around a nuclear reactor. They think it's going to turn them into freaks. Like you. They're both mutants. Bitch, you have a metal skeleton. <laughs> Time for Logan to jump out of the plane. He says, if it makes him feel better, it'll hurt. With zero accent, Taylor Kitsch, not Gambit, says, it kind of does, actually. Mm -hmm. Incredibly underwhelming Gambit cameo. I remember being wildly disappointed in 2009 that this was it for Gambit. Awful. Me and my brother were really excited for Gambit. He was probably my favorite X-Man on the cartoon. No. Yeah, he's great in the cartoon. Yeah. Wolverine and Gambit together? This is going to be dope. Ah. Nah. Ah. Nah. <laughs> Look at these photographs. <laughs> Look at these photographs. <laughs> Every time I do, it makes me laugh. <laughs> the eyes on Weapon 1111 have some real Nick Fury vibes going. It's so weird. They have a metal ring inside his eye cavity. Weapon 1111's eyes look like the ventriloquist puppet that Jeff Dunham uses. The terrorist. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. It's like yes. a skeleton of a terrorist. Scientist assures Stryker he'll respond to commands. Not verbal commands, though. We'll find that out later. Guys are dragging Scott Summers into a holding cell. Logan walks in the operating room without looking. Stryker says, Logan, welcome back to the war. Before I gut you, I want to know why. I need some exposition. I needed your powers for the pool. For the what? The what? <laughs> oh, the mutant killer. He fell for the Cobra formula. Deadpool. Ah! He said it. Sean Aston digging a Deadpool. Years of searching and finding the right powers that can coexist in one body without ripping it apart. My son was the first piece of the puzzle. Logan, you were the last. You made Weapon 1111 possible. I asked you to help, but you wanted the quiet life. Well, I've learned nothing motivates the men in your family like revenge. Uh -huh. Camera swings around to reveal a blurry shape in the background. Film it's Silver Fox. Kayla Silver Fox. And he gasps quietly. He's crushed. You know how I know that? That's what it says on the close caption. <laughs> Gasps quietly. <laughs> At this next scene, I wanted to write exposition, exposition. Instead, it said exposition, explosion. Huh? You know what? That works. Not wrong. <laughs> Probably better that way. <laughs> Victor's cuckolding from the shadows. Stryker couldn't let him walk away. Kept an eye on him because he's dangerous. And then Kayla says they gave her a shot of hydrochlorothiazide. Oh, I thought they gave her a shot of jargon. Potent jargon that kept her heart rate low. Mixed with exposition. You get a flashback of Victor squirting her with the blood bag. 
Caught a hole in it, dump it out. He's a squirter. But do you know her sister has diamond hard skin? (laughs) (laughs) Only during the day. Kayla's mutation is tacto hypnosis. She can influence people by touching them, like that <laughs> truck driver on that bridge. So like every woman I've ever met? I mean, by note, sorry, that's just called being a woman. <laughs> Quite a useful tool in a seduction. <laughs> you want to touch me? I'll do anything. <laughs> <It's-> <laughs> you try to play it cool, but it's like, oh shit, she just touched me. He says it was real for him. It's still real to me, damn it! <laughs> Told you if you came down this road, you wouldn't like what you found. Remember that moon's position story? I had it backwards. Jesus Christ. I thought you were the moon and I was your Wolverine. But you're the trickster, aren't you? I'm just the fool who got played. The trickster? Single tear rolls down her cheek. Worst part is, I should have known, but I ignored my instincts. I ignored what I really am. That won't ever happen again. I'm pretty sure he didn't ignore his instincts. That's why he didn't know. No! That's why it worked. Your instincts were to let her straddle you as she tells you this dumb, boring story that made no sense. That was your instincts, bro. She's crying as he walks out? Yeah. Kayla's now talking to Stryker, did everything he asked. My sister, you said if I helped you, you'd let her go. Ah, I just want to analyze her a bit more. This whole time... Victor is still cuckoo leering. I know Maze mentioned it at the beginning. He's still doing it. They cut away and they keep cutting back to him. Uh huh. And then what? I wondered, they're keeping her for further analysis and observation. Is she as hot as her sister? Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. She's played by January Jones in X Men First Class. Oh, that's the same person? Yeah, it's a diamond heart skin. Oh. Same power set. Oh. Victor drops down. Pissed that Stryker let Logan go. You broke our deal. He wants the adamantium like Steven Seagal wants the Punani. (laughs) And just like Steven Seagal, he'd never survive it. I could take anything he can. (laughs) No, you can't. Whoa. (laughs) You're my favorite soldier. I urge you to be patient. Your time will come. Kayla with the understatement of the year. He's using us. No shit. Now, why does he want to kill her? Wouldn't. Sabretooth get mad at Danny Houston? Why are you getting mad at Mr. Mayor? Bye. Bye, Mr. Mayor. Kayla runs right into Victor's choke. She screams. Logan hears it. It's like the guy from Howard the Duck. Yep. (laughs) Runs right into the fucking pie. Right into her throat. How about this time? You die for real. She's trying to hypnotize him. Your little mind games don't work on me. So that what's that? That means he gay or what's that mean? I knew that was coming. Ah, homophobia. (laughs) All of a sudden, Logan's there. Logan's back. Like he's Gambit. On a rooftop. Like he's Will I Am, fucking teleporting everywhere. <laughs> Paws out, charges, kicking the shit out of Victor, double stab tackle. Nope. 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 <laughs> Wait, oh, I'm sorry, you said it. Oh. Did you say it? I don't know if you said it or not. Damn, fuck. Said what? <laughs> well, now I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> he said kicking the shit out of him. I said, no, no, no. <laughs> he did dumb old Walker. Fucking slide tackle. <laughs> <laughs> he does have 650 years of knowledge. I mean, he's been alive for a long time. Well, not on Victor, though. They're the same fucking age. Uh, slow motion, glass breaking as he tackles him through the window. Victor's just laughing. Kayla says, Logan, you're not an animal. Oh, yes, you are. Do it. Finish it. Do me. Finish it. Do me. <laughs> cock me. Cock me, Eddie. Cock me, Eddie. Pause retract. He knocks him out. Kayla's down with Logan now. Kayla tries to explain to Logan, I didn't trick you into loving me. It was real for me, too, damn it. Here she goes, doing her hypnosis. I don't know if you heard, but they got my sister. Stryker says to activate weapon 1111. They pull up his Instagram stories, even though the bonding process isn't complete yet. (laughs) DMs are open. Logan sees all the kids in captivity. Doctor activates weapon 11, who immediately finds an inspirational quote about being the fire inside of you on the outside. (laughs) Well played. Slow motion, running, claws out as he cuts all their locks open of the cages. Like it's a low five tunnel from the player introductions. (laughs) Yeah. Like Scootsy Double Day. <laughs> pretty, pretty pictures. Kayla hugs her sister. And I said, yep, she is. <laughs> Logan grabs her hand to lead her out. Cyclops, CT5 blind people. <laughs> Ass off, looking around, pretending to be blind. As they get to the door, it opens up. In walks Weapon 1111 saying, they don't hate you. They fear you. Read that part again with a bunch of clapping emojis. <laughs> also... Weapon 1111 wearing the most otso ass jeans we've ever had. What are those? In our jeans inventory. Weapon 1111 is Ryan Reynolds with a bald head and a mouth sewn shut. Ah, like the line from earlier in the movie. Logan's claws extend. Deadpool swords come out of his hands. Ah. You love those swords. Colonel Cuck loves it. He's typing this whole time on the most 20 CB keyboard. Yeah. And didn't even put glasses on. 2009, we've already established at this point, they're black keyboards, they're gray keyboards. 
the tan keyboard is done at this point. Maybe this is supposed to be in the past. Yeah, it's the late 70s. It's six years after the Vietnam War. But he's got a flat screen in the bookcase, which weird. What are all those books for? Kayla leads the kids away. Just Logan 1111. Wait, is that you? Yes, Stryker finally figured out how to shut you up. That's her. Oh, yeah. Big time. But there's no response. He types in engage. Yeah. Dude, this is like Southwest running on Windows 3.1. <laughs> Deadpool wasn't affected by the CrowdStrike crash. No. Luckily. Logan says he doesn't have to do this. All right, maybe you do. Logan stabs him and heals right up. Guards are shooting at the children. Kayla's sister puts on this diamond cream that is $400 a tub. Yeah. There's a cream with real diamonds in it. I can actually smear diamonds on my face, and it's, it's only $400 a tub. That's like, what, like a million diamonds for $400? Mm. A million f***ing diamonds! Okay. Blocks the bullets with her skin. Scott says he can help. Just point me at him. You blind fuck. Full disclosure, I did look at the caption, so I thought he said, let me at him. Oh. Did this motherfucker just pull a scrappy dude? Let me at him. <laughs> let me at him. <laughs> point me at him. I like yours better. <laughs> Takes off his sleep mask and just obliterates three humans with his lasers. <laughs> Roaring well done. <laughs> yes. Kayla says she has to stay behind, but it's because she got hit by a bullet. Ah, uh, the old, I'm covering a mortal wound with just my hand trick. Go ahead. I'll be right there. Ooh. Cyclops hears whispers in his head giving directions. Wonder who that could be. It's a diddler. Oh my God. That's how they do it. Logan and 1111 are up on a fucking nuclear reactor. Nuclear cooling tower. Let's see you dance up here. And then he teleports right behind him. He's right behind me, isn't he? He gets it started. This CGI fighting on the ledge. Jesus Christ. It looks so bad. Nearly falls in the center. Fighting in the sky. Deadpool's kicking his ass. Striker types in Depacitate. Yeah. Depacitate. Yeah. Whatever, motherfucker. Here comes Victor to the rescue. Nobody kills you but me. TGT. Now Deadpool's gonna fight both of them. They go back to back. Call back. Remember when they went back to back? From the beginning of the movie, right? Yeah. <laughs> Deadpool teleporting his ass off. He's wailing on him. Victor anticipates again and grabs his throat, but he gets stabbed. Throat. Throws him into Logan for a double stab. Deadpool teleports to the other side. Then he also has Cyclops powers, but he doesn't need a visor or no glasses or even to close his eyes. No. You can just turn it on and off. Logan blocks it with his claws, somehow bounces the energy back, and then uses his white hot claws to stick it into the side of the cooling tower. Victor, jungle cat, still 11-11. Nimbly bimbly, doesn't work. Deadpool blasts Victor. Then he gets distracted. So Logan leaps through the air, slashes his neck, kicks him in the back. His body tumbles, his head separates. His eyes are still beam on. Yeah. So they spin in circles and cut through the cooling tower like a vegetable peeler. It starts to collapse. Which again, maintains its integrity for quite a while. Just the right amount of time. Supercharge this. Nope. Should have built out of that. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't type it down, but thought, I wonder if Zach's going to make <laughs> I didn't type it out, but I sure said it on a recording. Striker gets out his revolver and adamantium bullets. Let's see him heal with a few of these through his thick skull. TGT. You can't stop him, even with that. He'll heal. Stop the glazing. Get off his dick already, nurse. And then here comes some really choice exposition. His brain may heal, but his memories won't grow back. Huh? What? You've tested this? It's all about the memories, man. <laughs> and it's all about the memories, man. Reactor starts collapsing. They help each other up. This doesn't change anything between us, Victor. We're done. We can never be done, Jimmy. We're brothers. And brothers look out for each other. From the beginning of the movie. Hey, hermano. Hey, brother. Hermano. Victor plummets to the ground. Logan falls off, hits the ground as it crumbles. It's about to fall on top of him. Then Gambit oh! comes flying through the air, hits the reactor wall. Pole vault and Gambit. Saves Logan. He lands and smirks. You miss me? No accent. No accent. Yeah, that's what I know. None. You know, when you said you were going to kill everyone, I thought you may just have been exaggerating. Do I look like a man who exaggerates? What? Banter? Is it? <sighs> that's TGT. Logan hears Kayla whimpering, tells Gambit to help the prisoners. Kayla tells Logan she loves him. They kiss. I'm so cold. Like you were in that barn when your dick was all small. <laughs> I was in the pool. He's carrying her off into the sunrise? I was in the dead pool <laughs> that Sean Aston dug. <laughs> Striker shoots him in the back. He runs and leaps off some wreckage. Bullet to the head. Meanwhile, all these bingo mutant children are following a blind kid. And all he keeps saying is, I just know. Like, what? You're blind. What are you 
talking about? No, I need a little bit more explanation than this. Tell me there's a voice. Well, I guess that wouldn't. I'll be like, shut the fuck up. Colonel Cuck stands over him, shoots him in the head again. He stands over Kayla, points the gun at her, then points at himself. She's touching his leg. Hang on. That would work for me too. <laughs> Healing him would make them no better than him. She has him drop the gun, turn around, and walk until his feet bleed. Do you bleed. And then keep walking. Ooh. Scott leads the kid to very well-known diddler Charles Xavier who meets him at the entrance of the forest like all diddlers meet kids. Who walks? Fraud. He's walking? I've long thought that he was lying about the wheelchair. Let me tell you something else. I've seen a lot of spinals, dude. And this guy's a fake. A fucking gold breaker. Stay away from me, mister. This guy fucking walks. I've never been more certain of anything in my life. Gambit jogs up, but he's too late. Logan wakes up, bullet holes heal. He finds his dog tags. That green screen forest is terrible. Oh, the forest is terrible? That green screen is terrible. Yeah. All the other ones on top of the cooling tower, all that shit, those are fine. But this forest, no. Zach is like, I draw a line. Gambit tells him the kids are safe. Who are you? Are they, though? Are they? That's a diddler. I'm the guy that brought you here. Now we gotta go. Where the hell am I? Logan is hostile without his memories. Gambit insists that he's a friend. What's my name? What's my name? You just looked at a dog tag. We well, didn't know if it was Logan or Wolverine. <sighs> Your name's Logan. You trust me. We have to go. They run away from the green screen toward the plane. Logan sees Kayla dead on the ground, checks her pulse. Gambit asks if he knows her. No. Is he just ugly? A chick that's on the floor? Yep. Sirens in the background. Gambit insists they gotta go. I'll find my own way. And he shuts her eyes. That means necrophilia. Yeah, you, you go ahead. Yeah, I, I, I got some other things I gotta handle over here. Yeah. Motherfucker, go. Camera slowly zooms out into the sky as cops and fire trucks arrive. Roll credits. The longest credits ever. Did you see the post credit scene? There's a mid scene and a post scene. Oh, I missed the mid. Oh, so Stryker is still walking. His shoes are tattered. He looks like shit. Military truck comes up. MPs call him out. He's wanted for questioning the death of General Munson. Post credits. Deadpool's sword retracts into his hand, which touches his face. His eyes open and goes, shh. Fourth wall. Very Deadpool esque. This episode is brought to you by State Farm. You might say all kinds of stuff when things go wrong, but these are the words you really need to remember. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. They've got options to fit your unique insurance needs, meaning you can talk to your agent to choose the coverage you need, have coverage options to protect the things you value most, file a claim right on the State Farm mobile app, and even reach a real person when you need to talk to someone. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. It's the Disney Plus Blockbuster Offer. For a limited time, get three months of Disney Plus for just $1.99 a month and watch huge hits like Inside Out 2. Come on! And Agatha All Along, streaming soon. Plus Bluey. Yeah! And Descendants The Rise of Red. Get three months of Disney Plus for just $1.99 a month. All of these and more, now streaming. 18 plus only. New and eligible returning subscribers only. After three months Disney Plus Basic with ads auto-renews, then current monthly retail price $9.99 per month until canceled. Offer ends 9-27-24. Terms apply. Listen closely. As a master painter carefully brushes Benjamin Moore Regal Select down the seam of the wall. Mm. It's like poetry in motion. Benjamin Moore, see the love. Who cares if you lose the game? You got this off your chest. I mean, it's just one night of bar trivia. Ooh. One night of bar trivia is sacrosanct us. The trivia for this, sacrosanct and also trivia bukkake. Exposition explosion. Oh my God, <laughs> my head spun. This is the most trivia laden. Really? You know, the same thing with the number of reviews. This was a very consumed movie. It is sacrosanct. Jackman recommended his Kate and Leopold co-star Schreiber for the role of Sabretooth, describing him as having the necessary competitive streak. During filming, they dared each other to perform more and more of their own stunts. Leof Schreiber was given a muscle suit to wear for his role as Victor Creed, similar to what Vinnie Jones wore as Juggernaut in X-Men The Last Stand, to make his physique look comparable to Hugh Jackman's 220-pound figure. The suit made Schreiber feel humiliated, and he requested a chance to gain real muscle. He trained for three months while filming Defiance in Lithuania and continued to train alongside Jackman during filming. Jackman also made Schreiber add a great deal of protein to his diet, which Schreiber called the genocide of chickens. Yes, that's the quote. In the end, Schreiber gained 40 pounds and had to buy several new suits due to his back gaining several inches in width. I can't fit into my favorite suit now. 
but I felt like I owed it to the genre to be big. The explosion, Zach, of the barn that you love so much mm-hmm. was a one take practical effect. The fuck it was. With the barn's exterior being built just to be blown up. The interior shots were done on a soundstage with director Gavin Hood claiming there were 11 cameras on the barn to capture the explosion. Similarly, the crashing helicopter was a practical effect suspended from a crane with the wires removed digitally. The shot only had one take because the production couldn't afford a second. Hugh Jackman underwent a high-intensity weight training regimen to improve his physique for the role. He altered the program to shock his body into change and also performed cardiovascular workouts. Jackman noted no digital touches were applied to his physique in the shot of him rising from the tank within which Wolverine has had his bones fused with adamantium. More than 1,000 shots have visual effects in them, which required three visual effects supervisors and 17 different companies to work on the movie. The most prominent was the Hydrolux. And it also worked on the first three X-Men movies and was responsible for the battle in Three Mile Island and Gambit's powers. Hugh Jackman expressed disappointment over this movie, admitting it fell short of his expectations and did not do the character of Wolverine justice. Quote, somehow the first Wolverine movie ended up looking like the fourth X-Men, just with different characters. Maggie Q was considered for the role of Kayla Silverfox. So was Michelle Monaghan. Oh, that would have been good. A couple of repeat offenders there. A Deadpool movie had been in the works since 2003 at New Line Cinema with our boy David S. Goyer, intended as director, and starring Ryan Reynolds, who had always dreamed of playing the character. However, the plans fell apart after they made Blade Trinity. When Reynolds heard that the character was given a place in the script for this film, he immediately approached the filmmakers for the role. The weather during the scene in which Stryker comes to recruit Logan back into the team was unpredictable, with rain falling off and on. There was little time to set up and light each actor between rain showers, so most of the scene was shot with a steady cam rather than a tripod. Carl Urban and Gerard Butler were considered for Victor Creed. Alden Ehrenreich and Chris Hemsworth auditioned for Remy LeBeau Gambit. David Harbour auditioned to play the blob. At the end of the audition, he decided to jokingly pick up his shirt and squeeze his belly saying, I got your blob right here. And then quote, they called me and the director, we met at a hotel and he was like, David, look, you're wonderful. We really think you're just a great actor. We're just concerned. We're really concerned. I said, why? What's your concern? I'm good to go. I'm available. Let's do this. And they were like, no, it's just, you lifted up your shirt and we saw the, we're just a little worried about your health. I said, wait a minute, dude. You are telling me I'm too fat to play the blob? That's awesome. I have to get the fuck back to New York. So I didn't get the blob. The original ending had Kayla Silverfox admit that she was never in love with Logan and she was just using him to get Stryker to release her sister. Wolverine then voluntarily accepts Stryker's offer of a procedure to erase his memories of her. However, this was deemed too depressing. So it was reshot to express that her feelings for him were real. The original ending could be found on a deleted scene on the DVD Blu-ray version. Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds were named People's Sexiest Man Alive in 2008 and 2010, respectively. And I'll remind you that Nick Nolte was the sexiest man alive in 1992 before Blue Chips. Prove he wasn't. I can't. He was. Wait, who was 2009? Johnny Depp was 2009, Zach. That was Pirates? Yeah, it's deep into Pirates at that point. Well, maybe we know at that point how little he showers. The body count. Any people. This was one of many films that began filming with an unfinished script due to the 2007-2008 Writers Guild strike. Skip Woods rewrote David Benioff's script after Gavin Hood was hired. There's also like three or four people who got uncredited rewrites. Every Friday throughout production, Hugh Jackman gave out lottery tickets to everyone on set. Unfortunately, nobody ever won. What a nothing gift. Well, I am punched the camera while filming a fight scene and scarred his knuckles. I mean, if there was any any question i know there wasn't if there's was any question he was not gonna get ass on that seals it for you that locked it up right there this idiot fucking punched the camera it's the worst actor ever he's teleporting too fast you know he got thrown off let's get it started indeed and in the deadpool 2 mid credit scene new deadpool goes back in time to kill weapon 1111 wait is that you Stryker finally figured out how to shut you up. Hey, it's me. Don't scratch. Just cleaning up the timelines. Look, eventually, you're going to hang up the claws, and it's going to make a lot of people very sad. Huh? 
But one day, your old pal Wade's gonna ask you to get back in the saddle again. And when he does, say yes. Oh, right. And this is right before he kills Ryan Reynolds reading the Green Lantern script. So, a couple of cinephobe classics. Also, the beginning of Deadpool of Wolverine. We get the recaps position. Mm -hmm. Just like Rocky and... Karate Kid? Karate Kid, there you go. I'd like you all to do an experiment on a plant, something that uh, may benefit mankind. And if you would devise something that's groundbreaking, I guarantee you a A in this course. Oh, well, hold on, man. You firing me? You can't, you can't do that, Lionel. Look, man, if you don't want me to have a foreman job, I understand, but I need my fucking job, man. Lewis Pinnock, Accent Award. Taylor Kitsch. Kevin Durant, gymnast. She's a gymnast, come on. Whatever Texas accent Will I Am is trying to do, and whatever Gambit accent Taylor Kitsch is slipping in and out of. It's a tough field, man. It's Taylor Kitsch, man. When you're so bad at it that you don't commit to the accent in every line delivery. To me, that overtakes any other attempts at an accent. To me, it's between Will I Am and Taylor Kitsch because they're both terrible. I think Kevin Durand is good. And it's really only that one pronunciation of that word. Gymnast, yeah. When he's the blob, he's got a different voice that he's doing because his cheeks are so big. He's doing a fat voice, which is right. still a Lewis Pinnock, ladies and gentlemen. Sure, yeah. Well, according to most of our listeners, Maze is doing a fat voice as well. <laughs> They thought he was. Ass <laughs> off. This is Zach talking, by the way. <laughs> yeah, does that mean you're doing a fat voice too? I guess I am, yeah. I don't think I have one. Come on. Come on. show me who the horsemen are, guys. Yeah, yeah we got soul. Five horsemen, roaring, roaring to the sky, slow motion, banter, question mark, TGT. It's not banter, it's TGT. No, but there's a lot of banter question mark as well. There's a lot of both. And weapon exposition. I think I have one. I would assume that we're going to agree on, but we haven't named it yet. One of the biggest horsemen we've had. And we've only had it one other time. Boys, it's Skip Woods. Oh, yes. I'm with that. Because <laughs> it kind of encompasses everything we're talking about into one shining turd that is Skip Woods. I think, I think I'll add more roaring here. He's typing in roaring like <laughs> Striker typing engage into the computer. To pack a tape. Breathe in through nose, out the mouth. Ass on, ass off. Teddy Rex, Moosey Teddy Rex. Teddy Rex, Moosey Teddy Rex. Ass on, fuck it, ass off. Ass on, fuck it, ass off. Michael Bean Memorial Ass On Award. It's Will I Am. Lock it in. John Wraith. Lock it in. I hated the kids at the beginning, but it is Will I Am easily. Open and shut case, Johnson. Carl Weathers Memorial Ass Off Award. I think Hugh Jackman and Liev Schreiber are both good. Kevin Durand is good. Danny Houston is good. I think Danny Houston is the guy. Taylor Kitsch also deserved some ass on love, but Will I Am <laughs> blew him out of the water. That's like saying Clyde Drexler is one of the best shooting guards in the 90s, <laughs> but Michael Jordan is the guy. It's the only time Will I Am will be compared to Michael Jordan. <laughs> what about Gilbert Arenas? <laughs> he was kind of neither for me. For ass off? No. No. I just like the scene where he was like, Weapon X just killed two civilians. <laughs> Piece of shit. And I was like, I kind of respect it. I think it's Danny Houston. I think Danny Houston's the best. He does a good job. Leave is good. I think it's Liev for me. But the jungle catting. The nimbly bimbly leaping from tree to tree stuff does hurt him. But that wasn't him. That was CGI. Oh, that wasn't him? No. <laughs> <laughs> he had an intense workout plan, but it did cover the leaping around on all fours. The parkour. I'm good with Danny Houston, though, if that's what you're saying. I'll tell you why. Because he tells such terrible lies but he tells them so convincingly i know he's lying but i'm looking at him i'm like mm -hmm. fuck man he's really selling this are you good at keeping secrets absolutely because i've got a, a present for you secret present outside by the dumpster is it a baseball mitt to fit you like baseball mitt like a glove i hope golden dumpster nominees opening credits war montage newspaper headlines circus freak murdered <laughs> your country needs you I'm Canadian. Wolverine <laughs> wheeling out of the barn explosion. Wolverine launched into the air, flying towards the helicopter. Victor killing Will I Am, complete with tough guy talk. 
Logan casually elbowing Gambit in the face. But my pick is going to be Wolverine emerging from the water, roaring post adamantium transfusion. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a money shot there. I mean, May's pretty much named them all. It's circus freak murder. The amount of laughter. <laughs> it's so funny. Because it was just a picture of him being really normal. Circus freak murder. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking circus freak. You piece of shit. You know what? Mine's going to be distance. Distance traveled. They drive a motorcycle to Vegas from Canada. They drive motorcycles from Vegas to New Orleans. I guess took a seaplane to Three Mile Island from New Orleans. That was the horseman I forgot. Oh, the... <laughs> Just unbelievable distances. <laughs> Frequent flyer miles. Well, Maze, you picked it, motherfucker. Motherfucker. I like that. Bulber file. This is a decent movie for about an hour. Mm -hmm. I would say up until he gets the adamantium. Or actually, up until the barn explosion and the helicopter sequence. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's okay. Honest thief. And then it goes to shit it's so fucking bad gambit is so bad will i am is so bad will i am deciding yeah i'm gonna go with you on the mission i'm gonna leave my boxing gym in vegas behind what the fuck and ride my motorcycle from vegas to new fucking orleans i don't understand why we didn't spend more time with the team all together we just get that one quick mission to Nigeria and that's it. In which only half of them do something. There's a deleted scene where one of the children there is a black girl with white hair. It's supposed to be Storm. Uh, Except Storm is not from Nigeria. She's from Kenya. Oh, I thought it was supposed to be a Valerian from House of the Dragon. No, <laughs> yeah. The sea snake. So I think the Deadpool making fun of it in Deadpool 2 and really the entire Deadpool franchise puts the nail in the coffin. It's a phobe, man. I mean... If anything, Deadpool versus Wolverine made it more interesting because it made me laugh all over again. The way I laughed when I watched Deadpool 2 and Deadpool versus Wolverine. But I remember not liking this movie when I saw it with my brother when it came out. And the years have not been kind because, again, we've seen great superhero movies made. Whether it's the Dark Knight trilogy, whether it's Iron Man, whether it's all the Avengers movies, whether it's Madame Werb, we've seen these movies. And so <laughs> I, I got a, I got a phobe. It. it was awful. So you're saying that this is worse than Madame Werb? For sure. Oh yeah, absolutely. Zach? Like I said earlier, I do love X-Men movies. I absolutely love X-Men movies. I couldn't remember if I liked this one or not, but I was also thinking like, I don't think I've disliked an X-Men movie. Like I, the ones I've seen, I remember loving Knowing now what Deadpool is, because I didn't know at the time, I had no fucking idea what Deadpool was until the movie came out. What a horrible representation of what that's supposed to be. I can forgive a lot. I could file this movie if it wasn't for the jungle catting. Mm. It ruins every Victor Creed scene. <laughs> <sighs> no, don't do that. I don't like that one. That's a red sweet, boys. That's a phobe. Ew. You can send us your phobe or file. Golden Dumpster, ass on, ass off, five horsemen, plot lift off, Lewis Pinnock, at Talk Hoops, at Darth Amin, at Corn Puzzle, at Cinephil Pod, at Count the Dings, or drop in that Discord as a Patreon member, patreon.com slash Count the Dings. Next time we make love, you introduce me to Jade. Mean? You want to chain that daisy? Yes. The daisy chain is admittedly pretty weak for me. Can't relate. But it got me there. I was watching. I don't know why. Why would daisy chain? Why? Oh, you've got a strong daisy chain. That sounds like there's something up your ass. What? Friend. Friend. I'm trying to peg you again. Yep. You're always trying to peg me. So I was watching the Olympics, the closing ceremonies, and Tom Cruise, of course, jumped from the top of the stadium and then rode a motorcycle out of the building and then got onto a plane and then parachuted from the plane down over the Hollywood sign. It was pretty incredible. Mm -hmm. And that made me watch a movie that I texted you guys about. And then I realized that this movie had a sequel. My Daisy Chain is action franchises. Jack Reacher, never go back. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I've seen the second one. I've seen the first one. I just saw the first one and I was like, this movie is fucking awesome. First one's great, but I have not seen the second one. Is Tom Cruise in it? Yep. 
Tom Cruise in it. Come on. Is Tom Cruise in it? Isn't Jim from The Office? Jack Reacher? You're all over the place right now. That's Jack Ryan, ah, all right. which is a TV show, but also they made a Jack Reacher TV show. With that huge dude. Hugh Jackman? Oh, the, oh I do not understand Hugh, it. Hugh Jackman? This guy is huge jacked man. This guy never stopped jacking. Alan Richson. Richson? Richson. I hate this guy's look. I hate his face. <laughs> He's in the newest Fast and the Furious movie, glowing in the dark. And he was terrible in it. This fucking spray tan. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. He's so bad in it. 